Yeah, I want to get you up on that board. You know, because mm-hmm. I have an inc- immaculate balance. I'll tell you. Dateline tonight: the ocean has <laughs> no. been destroyed. If someone's too charming, Morgan Freeman can't bust. <laughs> right. I can't remember any of the lines from Shawshank. Name's Red. Why do they call you that? Because I'm gay. <laughs> 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 uh, because, <laughs> because, <laughs> uh, because I'm a gay man. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely why they call him that. <laughs> um yeah, I watched uh You've Got Mail followed up by what women want mm-hmm. how, about, 90s. how about uh you got braille and meg ryan is a blind woman mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and tom hanks is like ah here eat this hot dog <laughs> <laughs> don't uh use your teeth yeah just kind of <laughs> put your She's like, lips you sh- i've had hot it. dogs before i don't think this is a hot dog. uh it's a hot dog <laughs> You've good. got Braille. You've got I'm Braille. raping a blind woman. <laughs> <laughs> that was that would be a good take that on would that be movie. Good, yeah. yeah. You've got Braille. Uh, uh, I'm gay. I'm Tom Hanks and I'm gay. Uh, I, but I'm still raping this lady for some reason. Mm-hmm. Well, the movie is like, uh, I'll say this, incredibly enjoyable. I love that movie, mm-hmm. but morally incredibly questionable. Mm-hmm. This guy destroys her career, destroys her. You've gay sex. You've, you've, you've gay, gay sex. <laughs> and then you've he, finds gay out, cock. he finds out that his friend from online is this woman that he You're knows from real gay. life. You're mm-hmm. gay. And then he continues. Goodbye. He continues <laughs> to catfish her I for months. Dick. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Explain. Yeah, he no, we're listening. He continues to catfish her for months. And then at the end of the movie... I he, sucked cock. Yeah, You're gay. Yeah. <laughs> I remember AOL. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you have a, what are the kinds of shit that the AOL guy said? <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> My dick is... <laughs> I suck dick. <laughs> no, I suck. <laughs> You've got cock. I'm trying to find it. This is what I typed in. With AOL that. Slate's gay meeting. <laughs> Damn, there, you had a meeting with AOL, Adam? Mm-hmm. No. Hmm. I didn't have a meeting. Interesting. Anyway, so it's it's an incredibly enjoyable movie. Also, her, her boyfriend, before she uh, gets with Tom Hanks, is Greg Kinnear, and he plays like a DS. You've got mail. Yeah, that was it. He plays like the DSA cuck boy. Mm. And he like writes articles in the newspaper about how he Hi, did. I'm Elwood Edwards. And 22 years ago, I recorded a very well-known catchphrase for AOL. Oh, I'm gay. Okay. I'm sucking a guy's cock. Ah, I'm Graham Elwood. And 15 years ago, I contracted HIV. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> While having sex with children. <laughs> I, I couldn't go to the... I didn't know who to tell. <laughs> because so anyway, on one hand, I was molesting kids. <laughs> on the other hand, I didn't want to die of AIDS. One of them gave me AIDS, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally fucked a child with AIDS. You I remember. So we were kind of <laughs> even on that one. <laughs> no, you wanted me to talk about my time at AOL? <laughs> I thought you just meant, okay, all right, yeah, I said the thing. It sounds like you're making fun Wood, of this guy. I just that... got an email. You've got mail. Whoa. Hell yeah. Welcome. It all started when my wife, Karen, who worked for Quantum Computer Services, overheard Karen. Steve Case talking about adding a voice to the then upcoming AOL software in 1989. So she volunteered my voice, and on a cassette deck in my living room, I recorded the phrases that you've come to know, such hey, as the... Well, hey, hey, Ella, look what we got. We've got emails. You've got mail. <laughs> so I went on to record, welcome, you've got mail, files done, goodbye. And what started off oh, as a test has Shut continued up. to this day. So that's the story behind the catchphrase, <coughs> which, well, I have a certain amount of trouble trying to escape. Hey, Elwood. No one gives a fuck about your Let me guess. Do you have a new email? <sighs> Goodbye. Damn, what a cool video to produce. 
You've got mail. You've got mail. <laughs> you you shaved your ass <laughs> for me. <laughs> you fucked my Who ass. Who produced that video? Can I it's see your pussy? AOL's in house. And by pussy, I mean penis. AOL was doing comedy videos like twenty years ago. I remember they you remember that pivot. Pivot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they would like had like Alec Baldwin and shit. I don't remember that actually. Yeah, they did. I knew a couple of comics that like wrote for AOL. Oh wait, yeah, didn't Giannis have like a sports show on AOL or some shit? Possibly. You've sucked cock. Yeah. Oh, this is this. You've is, turned gay. Hold on, this is great. <laughs> I've discovered this by accident, but this is uh, one of the most depressing headlines I've ever seen in my life. Guy who voiced AOL's "You've Got Mail" could be your next Uber. Oh drunk. no! Oh Steve. no! <laughs> Brandy Barker hopped in an Uber and got the surprise of her life. No, she didn't. When Elwood Elwood Edwards. Who the fuck would know? Elwood Edwards. Stupid name. How about Elwood N words? Yeah, lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your question, the answer is no. The, come on. It's his name. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Overruled yeah. on that. <laughs> Hypothetical. What's your name? My name's L no. Word Edwards. <laughs> 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 okay. Let me make something clear. They are not the problem. You are. Um, you're Chinese. That's right. Some one some of us has to afford the equipment for this show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Despite a lot of people don't realize this, but the Patreon money. Basically, every month has to go to new gear. And, well, yeah. and, and reconstructive surgery for Adam's asshole. That's yeah, it, that's too. true. All of that. Yeah. We we have pay, to, we have getting the slack back. Paying <laughs> royalties to those women in the nursing home, the, the truth tellers. That's right. The truth tellers. The lone gun, gunman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like those ladies. I like them. I, I think like they're really cool, actually. You, you know, last week... <laughs> I, my grandson, he showed me how to hack into Adam's bank account. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and wait, wouldn't you believe there's been a daily Venmo payment to uh, a man named Bruno? <laughs> for <a> what? <laughs> <laughs> how much? <laughs> $80. $80 every what? day? To a man a named day? Bruno? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did they, always, did they caption it anyway? The, yes, there's always the, uh, the uh, winking and then the eggplant emoji. Yeah. <laughs> Some variation. So what are my pay, the, what am I paying of for? Of the, 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 the it's, it's always the bride emoji and then an eggplant and then the black police officer and then five spaces and then the binoculars and a smiling nerd. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nice. Come on, that's not true. <laughs> really, every day, eighty dollars every day for that. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> this is from guy named Bruno. I swear. I, wow. I swear. That's interesting. Because I'm just kind of parsing the tea leaves here. <laughs> it seems like we've added a whole new dimension to gay. Who's been very gay so far in your old truth tellings. Yeah. Now he appears to be a cuckold as well. No, like a void. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, cuckold. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's very he's this is a Come very on, dynamic guy you're not, you don't believe, look, look right at the house. case closed <laughs> 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 my case uh, really you don't want to uh, we, you don't are you sure you don't want to ask any more questions or present any more witnesses <laughs> In this trial, you demanded of yourself. Oh, it's the it's the British judge. It's, Please join us. It's me, the British judge. <laughs> There's now three judges. He can t you can tell he's British, and he's wearing a wig. There's a secret clause hidden in the Constitution that says if a man ever goes on trial for himself, that. British law supersedes <laughs> oh. American law, and it's our way of sneaking back in after Whoa. the revolution. Atticus, what have you done? Because we knew that racism in America's attempt that's the real. to dismantle it would always bring down, mm -hmm. and that's why we intentionally lost the Revolutionary War, because baked in 
to uh, the American genesis was an inherent contradiction of equality while upholding slavery. And uh, something along and those lines. Then, I, but we're back, is the point. And now we're British. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the 60s or 50s and or 40s. It's, it's, the or year of, it's the year of the Corvette. Is and, what we, and now we're back. And I have my own Corvette. <laughs> And I'm gonna drive it. And, I'm, just, and I'm gay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, and no. I'm going to have. <laughs> and, <all the time. laughs> and one more thing. I'm. <laughs> And by the way, also, I forgot to mention, I, I'm gay. <laughs> and the surprise. <laughs> Mr. Fish, what have you done? <laughs> when, when the British are back and this time we're gay. <laughs> we're going to have sex and with all of you guys. To, we're going to have gay sex. <laughs> Bring about 400 years of gay British rule <laughs> like you've never seen. <laughs> and I, by the way, I'm gay. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Finch, do you... <laughs> Counselor. Wow, this this has been the Come, come Down Players present. Uh, we mm. fucking the, the birds. But perhaps. <laughs> the, the, fuck the birds. If you enjoyed tonight's presentation of the Come Town Players, <laughs> NPR broadcast of <laughs> To Kill a Mockingbird from Memory, join us next week for Glen Gary Glen Ross. <laughs> Master Yoda, I can't do that. <laughs> do you want to be a Jedi or not, faggot? <laughs> And then Nancy, yeah, yeah. or whatever the fuck her name is, well, she that's... can't help herself. She's she, It's been too long without science. So she's going to get chemicals, and then she bumps into, who does she see? Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho Man Randy yep. Savage. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I'm gay! <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> i got to tell you, I've never, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I've never told anyone. And now no, she's, not. she's burdened by this fact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's holding Macho yeah. Man's secret. Macho yeah. Man's like... Uh, I gotta tell you something. I was also raped by Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> oh my god, so they're in sort of a sister. That's gotta be like episode four. Of five. Survivor. Yeah, That's yeah, when the yeah. show really falls off. It's me, famous actor Marcus Wilde. Mmm, Marcus. So good to see you again, brother. Hello, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. It's me, <laughs> Gay Eric <laughs> of England Town fame. Yes. From England Town. That's cor that is correct. And I've ridden my hot air balloon all the way here. This is a preview of <laughs> the live show in Australia. Mm, gay Eric. Like, yeah, we saw Gay Eric at, <laughs> at Fringe last year. The Adventures of Gay Eric. Just really cool stuff. <laughs> Really inventive, you know, uh, like really, he does sort of like an absurd thing. I'm gay, Eric. I'm gay, Eric. <laughs> I've written my hot air balloon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like Emo Phillips, but with none of the jokes. No jokes. There's no jokes in it because. Which was kind of holding him back. Yeah. All the jokes. Yeah, we <laughs> tried doing jokes, and what happened was the movie Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> And then the rest of the world stopped listening to us <laughs> until we had a mass shooting and got rid of guns. And then that gave us a little bit of credibility for a while. So now we're trying comedy now again. Now we're trying it. And we're going uh, fully, full mental retard. Yes. We're going, yes. We're going village idiot style It's kind of like what would happen in a mental institution if mm. they did a talent show. Right. <laughs> if somebody was trying to fit in at a mental institution, <laughs> <laughs> if somehow an entire society was inverted, <laughs> so that our celebrities were people that ate their own shit and threw it at each other. <laughs> That's our, Can't wait to go back. Yeah, our comedy is like you it's know, kind of, it's kind of like that. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> is no, it funny? Mate. No, 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 mate. no, 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 mate. It's no. not funny. It's gay, Eric. <laughs> Hello, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Garrick is really good, though. He's very funny. <laughs> Hello, I'm Garrick. I just came back from the field where I was picking flowers. <laughs> wow, that's so Garrick. <laughs> 
I picked flowers <laughs> to put them in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, woo! Right, okay, Eric. Right, okay, Eric. <laughs> On your gay, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Oh, I love watching Gay Eric. I can't get enough of him. I love him. Oh man, you, you had to be there, but I did this joke about uh, about how he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I'm not going to do. He it was justice. having heaps gay sex. I'm, I'm really not going to do it justice. But what happened was is that he was watching Barney. And eating baby food. <laughs> and he was talking about how much he loves baby food and watching Barney. And then he asked uh, he, he asked an audience member, he goes, do you know why? And they said no. And then off, off the top of his head, without missing a beat, wow. he says, because I'm gay. Wow. And it's like wow. the improvisational skills you have to have to come up with what something like that. <laughs> <laughs> a comedic genius. He's basically Australia's Einstein. Wow. <laughs> he's, our, he's Australia's contribution. They've given him a medal of honour. To, yeah, to intellectual discourse is gay Eric. The Prime Minister who got elected after mm-hmm. calling a kangaroo the N-word right. you have gave to keep him a medal mind, of honour. You have to keep in mind Australians have invented absolutely nothing <laughs> ever, once, ever. There's not a single fucking idea that they've ever come up with. <laughs> So, Gay Eric, pretty good stuff, pretty mate. Pretty good stuff, mate. Pretty good fucking stuff. Pretty good. Oh, my God, from England now. Mm. Yeah. And I'm gay also. Yeah. Welcome back to Firing Line, if you're just joining us. <laughs> <laughs> my guest tonight is Gay Eric. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Australia. Tell me, do you think black people should be allowed to learn how to read? <laughs> I'm just gay. Well, can I suck their penises? Can I suck them all? <laughs> 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 it depends. Can I Will have sex I with them? be able to suck them all? <laughs> oh, gay Eric. Mm. Don't you take anything seriously? Um, no, he does not. It's fucking... <laughs> Hesity. Hesity. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hesity. <laughs> I want to uh, fuck a diarrhea. If yeah, I was maybe. blind, I would I would jack off mm. to a woman moaning. Uh, yeah. I mean, I used to do that <clears throat> to scrambled porn. Or what I would do is, you remember, the, do you guys ever go to the science center? Nick, maybe you did when, when they had the exhibit of, like, bodies and there was a titty you could touch? No. I think it was... But I'm remembering the Halloween thing where they do, like, they're like, and these are his guts, and it's, like, cold spaghetti. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, you could do something like that. Mm -hmm. And this was the inside of his asshole, kids. (laughs) Everybody, let's all put our hands inside the dead body's (laughs) asshole. (laughs) The principal walks in. Miles, I've got your progress. Oh, my God. Good God. They said he'd do this when I told them I was hiring a gay man to teach <laughs> second grade. <laughs> and I didn't I, believe it. I listened to Kamala Harris and I wanted to be. I said, I'm not going to be like my father. I'm going to be the best principal. I'm not going to be like my alcoholic, racist father. This simple man who died in a helicopter crash. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be progressive and I'm kind. Gonna... Meanwhile, this guy's still there's like still 15 kids with their hand. Yeah, in a pumpkin. They're like, that's ew. Carved. Yeah, he's just carved a little asshole in a pumpkin. No, it's his ass. Oh, it's his own and, ass. Oh. Yeah, and they're all reaching in. There. And there's spaghetti in there. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary to mm-hmm. make it feel like guts. Mm-hmm. It's guts and eyeballs. Remember the eyeballs? Yeah, are... uh, grapes. Grapes. Peel grapes. Grapes. With grapes. No, yeah. Pussy and beer. Um, the Jeez Montgomery beer. Gentry. Mm, pussy and vagina. <laughs> pussy and cunt. <laughs> pussy and shit. <laughs> Getting pussy and shit. You really can't. There's nowhere to go with that one. No, nah, it's no. just perfect. It has to dude. be a 15 yeah, seconds. They left long. very little room. It's be- long it's long. honestly like a reading a Hemingway short story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just the word economy. And I G. No. And then, <laughs> and then uh, you can do the rest of the work yourself. Y'all can figure it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know the way that one. You know where around. it's going. We don't even have to say it. And I'll see you later. You know, it'd be funny if it's like just some, <laughs> some redneck. Uh-huh. <laughs> After Kobe dies in the helicopter crash, being like, I guess they're not so different from us. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's what did it. Yeah, for some like, Montgomery judge. Just throwing friends. away his clan out there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we live the same kind well, of life. We're just simple folks <laughs> that simple. burn up in you know, helicopter crashes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. There was a hu- I was confused about the huge contingent of Montgomery Gentry fans at yeah. Kobe's vigil. <laughs> but a lot it of, makes a lot, a lot of sense. Of people, <laughs> Gentry a lot of actually came together on that Montgomery day. or Gentry, whichever one didn't die, actually spoke at the funeral, oh, yeah, which I found true. odd at the time. No, but, but they now were close it makes a friends lot of with sense. Kobe. They, just didn't they had the same him. helicopter yeah. guy. They didn't know if society could handle their friendship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Kobe was like, you have to keep working. Mm, penis and beer. Penis and cock. <laughs> oh, shit. Penis and ass. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Okay, thank God. <laughs> that was like the Gordian knot. Oh, yeah. You know? Um, thank God I'm fucking I'm queer. I'm fucking gay. Thank God I'm queer. <laughs> God I'm I love cock. <laughs> I'm fucking gay. I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> a penis and ass <laughs> Not even beer We've taken beer out of the equation We're purely gay <laughs> No time to drink any beer Because we're having gay sex hey, <laughs> This is a little one called Penis and ass <laughs> <laughs> a penis and ass <laughs> Sucking the damn <laughs> A fucking suck a dick right off <laughs> Fucking an ass <laughs> Getting my ass fucked <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking a bunch of cum <laughs> uh, No beer for me Because I'm drinking I'm cum I'm all sorry I've got to drive later To get my dick sucked My <laughs> guy <laughs> No beer for me. I'm, I'm planning on driving to a, a dick sucking place. <laughs> I'm going to the dick sucking place. <laughs> I'll see you all down <laughs> on the Route 66 dick sucking place. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude. No. No, that's too good. Penis and ass. <laughs> I love getting my ass hooked and sucking some deer. Just bend me right over and fuck me to death. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me till I'm dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I may be a simple country boy, but if there's one thing I love, it's getting fucked silly like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Fuck me like the silly slut I am. <laughs> I'm just a dizzy broad redhead to get drunk off of cum. I'm drinking cum and I'm wearing lipstick. I've got lipstick on <laughs> and some eyeliner. And I'm going down to the only bar in town. Let's see if I get beat up again. <laughs> Let's see if they kick my ass this time. <laughs> Joke's on them. That's what makes me come. I'm getting hard the whole time they're kicking my ass. And they can see my dick fucking fully stiff under my sundress <laughs> as they beat my ass in the parking lot. And maybe one of them will linger and I'll be able to suck his dick. <laughs> and when I see them tomorrow at the Starbucks, <laughs> we'll all smile at each other. Because this is our town. <laughs> this, is our, this is where we're from. Where it's we're our thing we do. <laughs> <laughs> we won't call them cops. <laughs> we we kind of lost it after Obama got elected. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still dealing. I have more shame about the Apple Watch that I wear than I do about dressing up like a lady to get my ass kicked at a bar. <laughs> and they call that an identity crisis. <laughs> Getting the shit out of me so I can come. I'm gay, but I'm also a masochist. <laughs> and other times I just do straight up gay shit, by the way. <laughs> I also just get my ass fucked. Sometimes I do, Ray. I'm in a secret relationship with Chris Cuomo. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I take that helicopter all the way to NYC. To Mr. Suck. New, Mr. Fancy New York City. 
<laughs> and we do a little, we do a, a little civil war thing in this hotel room. <laughs> we get the he, penthouse suite in the W Hotel, where he pretends he's a prison guard. At, what was it, Sherman? What's the name of that prison? <laughs> Anderson Prison. At Anderson Prison. <laughs> and and sure we do a, a little guard. Anderson Prison role play, <laughs> where I'm an emaciated uh, rebel soldier, <laughs> and he's having sex with me. He's sexually torturing me. In exchange for hard tack. Yeah, he doesn't even care about slavery. He's just some drunk Irish piece of shit who has who's got got a taste for blood. And a taste for cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard that about Chris Cuomo. Yeah. He's into that kind of thing. But that's the that's his type of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's his shit. I like the by the way, the ambient music we got going. Yeah, the people can't hear it, but it's really giving us some nice energy, dude. I yeah, I start my day with a little pre-roll. Love it. Some uh, some jungle. Mm. Some pre-roll, some jungle, some garage, some maybe grime. Maybe have a coffee, beat off. Love it. You some beat kratom, off in the morning. Drink some kratom. Do a little cocaine. <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> I would you know they publish like, and it's like not, probably not even real. The the like uh, Hunter S. Thompson schedule. Yeah. Oh yeah. But just like... I publish my schedule, but not, there's no no part of it is productive. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> You're like, wow. Yeah. He was just a guy that had money for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once a week, do two hours of podcasting. And, and well, podcasting is mostly listening. Listening to Montgomery Gentry, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then and then taking two two hours to come up with something even resembling a joke, which is the Kobe Bryant thing. <laughs> that was funny. Which should be the first thought that anyone would have. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we were too busy doing thinking about the song. <laughs> the penis and ass. The penis and ass. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke too. Yeah, it's a really good ass uh, fucking joke. The video we were trying to remember was, "What do you think about that?" It's not mm-hmm. where I come from. Oh. Check this out. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. What a ding yeah. dong. It starts out before, like, but then where there's no music in right, the beginning of the right, music right, video. Right, right. It's him just like, you know, outside of like some <laughs> McMansion, like ding dong. And then, you know, some guy like, I'll be back inside to finish her taxes in a second, honey. You know, and it's like, boop, 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 you know. It's funny that like black comics and the redneck guys have the same idea. They both hate the same kind of guy. That's right. Which is the tax loving wasp. That's of the course. meme with the Confederate flag guy with the gun and then mm-hmm. the black power guy Brother, with the gun. Right. Yeah, that's that's the perfect synthesis mm-hmm. right there. Yeah. And uh and then uh the guy's like, Can I help you? He's like, Hey, I'm your neighbor and he like whips his dick out and it's like burn man burn and burn and burn and burn and burn Well I showed the new guy my cock <laughs> and he didn't look too impressed. <laughs> I guess it doesn't stack up to them big New York City dicks. <laughs> but this right here is an honest cock. It's a hard kind of cock my daddy had. And before it <laughs> But died in before he died. In I guarantee. Uh, before you say helicopter crash, actually he had HIV. <laughs> <laughs> well, he died in the helicopter crash, but he was on his way to die of HIV anyway. <laughs> now he's in heaven with the new God. We got a new guy in 1996, <laughs> and he's down with all that gay shit. <laughs> that, that's more of like a Brooks and Dunn vibe. Yeah, dude. Oh God! Uh, well, uh, working on this song, I thought, you know, what if God, what if in 1996, God became, uh, you know, like a homosexual that buys uh, Macintosh computers? <laughs> and I got to thinking, you know, maybe, maybe we're not so different us and that Macintosh using homosexual God. <laughs> <laughs> and so the song's about getting drunk and just writing a love letter to the woman you, you know, maybe you blew it with a couple of years ago, but now she's, uh, turns out she, she's a Navy SEAL. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she's got her gender changed, and you're planning on meeting up at the one Jamba Juice they just opened in Perryville to... <laughs> Maybe maybe try sucking her dick for maybe a Maybe suck her dick. Maybe maybe y'all loosen up by beating up the guy who's sucking the dress. Yeah, he's first. got a weird he's got he sounds right. Maybe it would work if I sucked her dick this time. <laughs> His voice sounds or maybe it would Yeah, he's got it's like uh it's kind of like a Shakira. He Ooh. has a Shakira vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a back of the And you don't thing. know what who's it, this? Yeah. 
Uh, Ronnie Dunn. Yeah. Ronnie Dunn. Yeah. Ronnie, hey, now, Ronnie Dunn sucked me off. Ronnie yeah. Dunn, yeah. father of Ronnie and Dunn. And I done sucked him <laughs> off. <laughs> and a little girl saw it happen. <laughs> and now I have to kill her. <laughs> 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 well, I didn't want to kill that little girl. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't have anybody know I was gay. I, I it's not the her. gay stuff so much as the degenerate way in which it happened. <laughs> In an abandoned Carvel slash Cinnabon, <laughs> next to where the blockbuster used to be. Say what you will about the recession. It gave guys like me a bunch of places to have secret gay sex. And this used to be a Ben Again's. Now it's a bend over again. Now I'm getting my back blown out here. Instead of yeah, yeah. <laughs> Broke back Mountain, how about that back steakhouse? <laughs> they shut down in 2008. <laughs> but the bathroom still works, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> there ain't plumbing, but you can get your pipes clean. Uh, I got an onion blooming right here, pal. <laughs> just in the music video, he's just he's just puckering oh, his ass yeah, with the camera. His, his ass, ass has been so fucked. It's, it's, yeah. it's how about that for a blooming? Like a blooming onion. How about that bloom? <laughs> <laughs> how about that bloom on that onion? <laughs> so anyway, then, then after we had sex, we got our guns mm. and we tracked down that little girl. I'll see y'all later. And then he like turns away from the camera and he's got ashless chaps on and it just fades to white as he enters the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> What other country stars can we call gay? <laughs> oh, there's a lot. Keith buddy. Urban? He's mm. Australian? No, no, that's too easy. Why? Because he's Australian already, mm -hmm. you know? Um, what, who's gay, the guy? Kenny homicide. Chesney. Kenny Chesney. Um, he seems gay already, also. Mm. Brad Paisley. I worked on a Kenny Chesney music video. Oh, Did yeah? You? Yeah. In New you were York. the guy? You were the fluffer? In New York City. Wow. Yeah, in Times Square. You sucked wow. him off? Was that your job? I'm listening to the music. So yeah, the what answer is your yes? Music? Oh, no, really I can't nice. even hear your question. That's the answer is yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's Zach, Zach Brown Band. He's more of a like a Dave Matthews style. Mm. He's more of a chill. He's mm. like a chill country star. Interesting. There's Toby Keith. Mm -hmm. I like I like Toby Keith a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like that song. I love this bar. It's a lot. It's kind of us vibes. Also. I fucking love this bar. <laughs> There's I a lot of hot guys here. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this bar. <laughs> you come some, a whole gaggle of cute guys from the local oh. college. All oh, the guys are cute and their dicks are hard. Mm -hmm. God damn it. I love this bar. I keep asking them to have sex with and pretending like they misheard me. <laughs> I went there clearly. No, I said, is, is that your truck outside? <laughs> <laughs> but God damn it, I mm. love this bar. No, it's like, um, I said, do you have the time? <laughs> and they said, what's that last part at the end you whispered? <laughs> I'm like, buddy, you must be hearing things. Probably a side effect from that Jew vaccine they're giving everybody down at the mall. <laughs> Me, I'm just a straight guy trying to make friends. <laughs> now lick your ass. <laughs> Can I see your pink? Can I see your pink? <laughs> I said, God bless you. I heard you sneeze and I said, God bless you. Can you suck my ass? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Fuck, I love this bar. I fucking love this <laughs> bar. <laughs> this bar. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of hot guys. <laughs> There's a lot of hot guys. <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> I'm crying, God bro. Damn, dude. There's a lot of hot guys. There's a lot of hot guys here. <laughs> Just singing that out loud. It's not even a song yet. I fucking love this bar. There's a lot of hot guys here. He's kind of looking over. He's just by himself in like a in like a a, 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 a shirt from the Hershey's. And there now it's starting. Hello and welcome to Come Town. Uh, I'm your host Stavros Halkis. Along with my trusty sidekick Adam Friedland. Thanks for having me. Stop. Uh, this is the Stav and Adam takeover. takeover. I have the headphones. I check the levels. I'm you- teaching Stav how to use the equipment because <laughs> no, uh, I learned neither myself. Stav nor Adam know how to <laughs> to, to navigate an on-off switch. <laughs> you kept, kept us. Well, there's you kept us ignorant. Yeah, you dude. kept us. You're scared. Yeah. We're gonna overtake you. You don't dude. want any uh, like. How's uh, it sound? Listening to your own voice through labor. the headphones. Hey, I don't really like it that much. Really. Mm, but I like I like monitoring the show as the new leader, as the new alpha of the show. I do I do like listening through the headphones. Yep. Uh, anyway, so it's the Stav and Adam takeover, and yeah. as for our first, bit, I like to pretend I'm in like when I listen to my own voice. <sighs> Adam, I sing, Adam, assert yourself, Nick. I'm is in the middle the of saying our what? first bit. No, I like to pretend I'm like I'm like Christina Aguilera, and oh. I do the I do That's I touch good. you close one. your ear. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you do right. one. You touch so you one. Hear yourself sing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I go, I am gay. <laughs> oh, you, you know I'm gay for my dad. You know, and then yeah. it's auto tune later. I'm gay. So it sounds yeah. better. Yeah. Oh, you know I'm gay. <laughs> that shit when they Yeah, go that's low. exactly what Christina oh, Aguilera gay. sounds like. <laughs> she does. She goes low. Yeah. She does the low. You know, what, you know what I was laughing about? Remember how, remember how up until like, Remember how up until like 2007? <laughs> Maybe maybe even later than that, like maybe 2013. Anytime there was a black woman with natural hair, people would be like, "Oh, it's Macy Gray." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to say goodbye and I choke. That was like the go-to joke for any black woman that didn't, you know. And now it's Everyone's all everyone's got it. Now so now who oh, who's that? Is it is that Rachel Dolezal? <laughs> and suck him off. Yeah. You ever see that movie, Time to Kill? No, I haven't. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was Matthew. Uh-huh. Matthew Modine. Matthew McConaughey. 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 Yeah. Suck dick, suck dick, suck dick. <laughs> That's what I love about preschool I'm, boys. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Hey, everybody, it's me, Matthew McConaughey. Hi, everybody, it's me, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> McConaughey. 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 I'm That's mostly the thing I love about these high school girls. The older I get, they turn into boys. <laughs> They're all turning into boys now. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Someone's so gay he loves trans. <laughs> yeah. Loves when the women like, become yeah, trans so men. Like creepy older guy that's <laughs> yeah. really happy about. T- yeah, just a pedophile. Yeah, a pedophile that's like, I'm just so supportive of all this trans stuff. Let's turn them all into boys. <laughs> <laughs> More boys, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sign Sir, me up we don't need your support. Bo- Sign me up for some boys. <laughs> God. God damn. Pussy. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> uh, Raynard's That's disease right. is a very serious condition. That's that not a real disease, Michael. Pussy Ray- disease. How about that, Ray- man? Raynard's isn't? No, isn't uh, Rainier? What about Mount Rainier's disease? Mount Rainier's disease is a serious condition affecting children who don't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you children, have a child that isn't getting children, his dick sucked. Children who don't like to make love. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to make love. <laughs> I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. And if there's one thing I love more than making love, it's raising money for the victims of Hurricane Maria. <laughs> uh, gay actor Michael Douglas. Good to see you, man. Welcome nice. back, Mike. Hi. I'm gay actor Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh, we tried that already, didn't we? Yeah. yeah it doesn't... Who are other... Uh, it's, it's better with Michael sometimes Douglas. Sometimes things man. get stuck in my craw. 
And then like people, my nuts? People would be like, you already said this last time! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? Suck our fat nuts. Mm. We're doing all. We're doing all. Michael Gabe, Michael Douglas. We're Somebody doing... got mad. They were like, "The San Frangelico bit is the lowest effort bit." <laughs> well, guess what? You're well, about yeah. to get for an hour, motherfuckers. Less Ga- effort. Oh, w- you just started listening to the show. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been here for a, a minute now. <laughs> I've been listening to the show, ooh, jeez, maybe two or three weeks. <laughs> Long time listener. <laughs> yeah, I guess that means you're a fucking idiot. Because we love it, and we're smart uh-huh. as shit. Yeah. Unlike you fucking morons. They call me John the Genius. Oh, yeah, Genius John with John, the Jiggly Dick. John the Genius. <laughs> jiggly Dick Johnny. Jiggly Dick Johnny, the gen- <laughs> Genius Johnny. <laughs> Deserve. We you might crash the website. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. just pay five dollars shipping. That's b l u e chew dot com promo code. Come down. C u m t o w n. God damn. And uh, may you fuck. May you fucking think of us while you do it. This is great script, but please don't feel obligated to read verbatim. Use your own language and talk about your own experiences. Oh, we have. Make it pal. fun. Yeah, I, you know what I was. Guys, wish, I wish I could to last longer and go a few extra rounds. Mm-hmm. Why do they just say get your dick hard? Yeah, how did say like who's the the man who's like, this is like if your dick doesn't work and you've never had sex, right? right. <laughs> You're thinking about I'm, I've been thinking about getting into that uh, that uh, hot stuff yeah. that everybody's been talking about. Making whoopee. When you're ready to have a hot time with your partner. Mm-hmm. There's one thing I love to do more than anything is to take medicine to fix my broken mm-hmm. body. <laughs> 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 Nothing really gets me in the mood. Mm-hmm. More like than being faced co- very concretely with my impending mortality. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. Just uh, being a 29 year old man. <laughs> right. I'm Dick no longer a young man. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just something <laughs> staring me in the face. <laughs> Reminding me that the a next clear step red flag is probably lung cancer, <laughs> and then I go out and have another cigarette, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, bluechew dot com. Check them out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Check them out. Get that dick Get hard. Your fucking pump dick some hard. fucking sweet ass or pussy, whatever it is. I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, or you, you, know, you know, a my, man's mouth. My dick doesn't work. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why I started having to eat my English wife's pussy, which gave me mouth <laughs> She's cancer. Welsh. She's Welsh. I stand corrected. I got mouth cancer from eating Welsh pussy. <laughs> if I, would I had, love had a nice piece of Welsh pussy, honestly. If I had had Bluetooth.com back before my dick didn't work, I wouldn't have had to have gotten mouth cancer from my wife. You hear that, guys? Bluetooth cures cancer. Bluetooth.com will guaranteed. save me, gay actor Michael Douglas. 100% guaranteed. From getting mouth cancer. <laughs> You know, you're out there enough. You're, you're Everyone out. has to learn. My name is Ryan Shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryan Shut. My name is Ryan Shot, and I'm gay. My name is Ryan Shut, <laughs> and I'm gay. I did not. My my name is uh, Ryan Shut, and I'm gay. I am not a straight man. I'm I am. Ryan my Shutt. name is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Shut, and I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Just every person. I went up to Mr. Gorbachev and I said to him, My name is Ryan Shutt and I am gay. Mr. Gorbachev. Mr. Gorbachev. Suck on my cock. <laughs> oh, oh, tear my ass. Tear please. up these cheeks. Mr. Mr. Saddam Hussein needs to understand (laughs) that my name is Ryan Shutt (laughs) and I'm gay. Damn, Nick. (laughs) Oh, fuck. Damn, this is an Epcot Hall of Presidents level. My name is Ryan (laughs) Shutt and I will be gay for you. I win instead of a saxophone, I play a big penis. <laughs> it's, a big, it's a big curled up penis ball. It goes into my mouth. Uh. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if I could do a W impression anymore. 
Uh, how's it? Not even close. No, it's uh, <laughs> that yeah. was your what's up, Doc? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's up, Doc? I'm George W. Bush. F- fool me once, shame on you. I'm not gonna be fooled again. I, yeah, I can't. yeah. You can't. You you, you can't. I'm not. I'm not gonna be fooled. Ron, shut. <gasps> and I'm gay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh fuck. Yeah, a lot. You would only just like really approximate most of them. Mm-hmm. Really locked. Uh, the real <laughs> dialed in impression is hard to find once. Once somebody's gone, out of, out of, uh, out of sight, mm-hmm. and out of mind. I hope they bring bring back George Bush. You know, mm-hmm. a compassionate conservative. Compassionate conservative that just <laughs> <laughs> who put their dick in my ass. <laughs> 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 who put their dick in my ass? In my ass? In my ass? <laughs> Why is he saying that? I don't know. Why is that the phrase you're keying in on? I don't know, but I mean, I'd learn John Hamm by just saying, like, why would you choose to be gay? Yeah, that's over good. and yeah, over yeah. again. That's true. If you had a choice, put their dick in my ass. If you had a choice to be gay or be with a woman, <laughs> why would you make the choice to be gay? Yeah, that's choice good. is what, like, mm-hmm. who put their dick in my ass? <laughs> in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you jabronis put their dick in my ass? <laughs> in my ass. What was he like sleeping? Was he bent over? I don't I don't know, man. That's Look, it's a process. In my ass? In my ass. Come on, we don't need that. Just Obama <laughs> just sheepishly waving off hecklers. <laughs> come, come on, we don't need all that that messerino in here. <laughs> Everyone's like, he's still so cool. <laughs> Can you please l- leave? Come on, we don't need all that. <laughs> well, why don't you go? Why don't you go heckle your your own thing? <laughs> I'm on shot. I'm gay. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck my ass. Damn. Who? Would- Hi, I'm President Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm also Ryan and Shot. I'm Ryan gay. Shot and I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. I can't wait to go home and do drugs. Yeah, what kind of yeah, drugs are you going to do? Our fuck our fucking dicks. You say you saw Solo and it's really bad? You know what? I was watching it and the first half is kind of bullshit, but how the about, second half picks how up. How about Hans Holo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They they made the... Hi, uh, my the, name is Hans and this is my asshole. He made the asshole to penis run in less than yeah. 20 parsecs. Hans, old buddy, let me get in that fucking ass. <laughs> he was good. Donald Glover was good. Oh, he played young Lando? Yeah. Um, Damn. And they you didn't know, do a Billy D. Williams hologram? The only part I didn't like is that they made Han be like a good guy, and, and it seems like he should be a scumbag. Yeah. But I actually ended up enjoying... I watched Half on the Plane to Australia. And, and what's his deal? He goes around space stealing cum to eat? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that powers spaceships is fucking... is a specific kind of larva. Oh, uh, it's a uh, nerf herder cum. It's cum from a tauntaun. <laughs> uh, the only way the uh, hyperdrive is going to work is if uh, <laughs> we put cum in the... Mm-hmm. We got Chewy. We need your cum. Is he still smashing Callista Flockhart's frail ass? <coughs> That's a strange ass celebrity couple, if you ask me. Oh, uh, Callista, why don't you fucking spit on it? <laughs> God damn! It hurts my throat to do his voice. But at least you did it for our adoring fans, whom uh, we love. Listen, I'm, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm gay actor Harrison Ford, <laughs> and this is. Uh, this is this is, this is gay ass. jackass. <laughs> I'm I'm gay actor Harrison Ford, and this is uh, sunk Phil's dick. <laughs> come on, come on, Han Solo. That was, come that was, on, the fugitive. Come on, stop. Come on, what is this? U.S. Marshals going on down here? Come on, you know I got to work in the morning. Indiana Jones. Come on, Indiana come on, Jones. Indiana. Ah, <laughs> uh, this dick belongs in a museum. <laughs> That'll do it for us, folks. I love Goodbye. fall and winter. Nice. I love death. You love slow. He's goth, dude. I'm goth, yeah, dude. Goth. Okay. My new thing now is like Were I'm not goth. Presidents? I hate fucking. I love death, and I love money. I'm I'm finance goth. That's, Whoa, that's cool. just every yeah. 
every like rich guy, I think. I know. I like. but no, rich now guys love fucking. Now rich, no, 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 now being rich, now being rich is called finance goth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first. I'm the first. I'm the first fin goth. And yeah. Fin goth. <laughs> and if you ever hear the term fin goth, that is me. Yeah. I came up with it. I minted that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't don't let any of these dumb women that try and tell you that they came up with fin goth. <laughs> Get Damn, away. there are gonna be fin goths. Of course, soon. there's gonna be fin goths. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a mistress. I make him call me mistress. I guess that's basically fin dom. Mm-hmm. But you no. wear black. I want to die. I want a bunch of money so I can kill myself and not give any. I have all of my riches burned or buried <laughs> with me in my sarcophagus. Dude, the Joker. You want a sarcophagus? You know who has, yeah, no, not the Joker because the Joker is about chaos. I'm about like accumulation to such a parasitic degree that it, you know, it kills me and the host. Mm-hmm. I'm King Tut. Looks King good. Tut was Finn Goth. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the pharaohs were Finn Goth. Uh-huh. <laughs> you accumulate riches and then you're buried with them. Right. I think Nobody we made this joke him. before. I, I, I probably did, but something about Adam Adam is buried with you in a yeah. studio sarcophagus, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. interrupting your stories for eternity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for heaven, guys. I can't wait until we're all there with <laughs> Aretha no, Franklin. I'm going to be on Mount He's, Olympus. Yeah. He's got the head of a bug. He's like a demigod named a new bits. <laughs> But then the, the bits are someone else's jokes. He's like, guys, I just thought of something. Ugh. It's the head of a praying mantis. The little arms coming out, but then a regular woman's body underneath. Yes. Damn. I wonder what the hottest woman in ancient Egypt looked like. Um, Cleopatra and Nefertiti? No, no, Cleopatra had a fucked up yep, face. Yep, those are two Egyptian women. Good job, dude. And Cleopatra's but not they were Egyptian. supposed to, I mean, like... Good job naming them. Mark, Anthony, said, Mark Anthony got oh, seduced Cleopatra's by that bitch. More facts. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely the prompt, is name, <laughs> name what you know about ancient Egypt. <laughs> like, how hot do you think someone could have been 4,000 years ago? I you mean, think there was anyone with just like, probably different, like an Insta model? They're probably just different beauty fat standards. Fat-ass titties, fat-ass yeah. ass. No, their tits look like pyramids. Mm, Polygon, uh-huh. those those PlayStation, those Sega Saturn tits. You know? yeah. <laughs> um, do you think aliens made the pyramids, guys? Yes. You think Atlantis ever existed? Well, I think Jews didn't make the pyramids. I think that's a lie. Yeah. Propagated by the six banking families and George yeah, Soros. The Rothschilds. Yeah. Is the Rothschilds a real thing? Do yeah, those, of course. Do those guys really control everything, and have they since, like... Oh, they have a lot of money. I don't know if they control everything. They're French? They uh, are Jews, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're like a French-Jewish family, I think. Uh, uh, no, more. isn't that the... Uh, what is it? The or are those other, another family? The um, Dreyfuses. The Dreyfuses. Yeah, those I should the, know more French about Elaine? my cousins. Elaine's yeah. dad? Yeah, actually, she yeah. She is yeah. a billionaire, right? She's a... She is, a, yeah. She's the only, yeah, I'm going on record. She's the only good rich person. Elaine. Elaine? Yeah. Cause I wanted to a, a brain? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <coughs> Jerry, why can't, why won't a brain suck me off? I don't know what to tell you, George. She only sucks my dick. George, I'm gay. <laughs> George. <laughs> George, it's me, gay Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I met this guy, Joe List, in the bathroom. He's an upcoming comic. Yeah, Seinfeld's been helping me out a lot. <laughs> I ended up at the bathroom at the cellar. <laughs> I got you in a, You needed two wrecks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got gay Seinfeld and gay Ray Romano. <laughs> yeah. Both we, wrecked me at the bathroom <laughs> in the cellar. <laughs> yeah. Comedians in cars. Yeah, I'm going in right now. <laughs> Comedians in bathrooms sucking each other up. <laughs> <on. laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your process. <laughs> How'd you get into this? <laughs> what in the bathroom? I mean, it was just open. I just walked in. <laughs> no, you know this. This whole lifestyle. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, uh, well, I've always been gay. I guess. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not sure it's a nature versus nurture thing. I mean, I had proclivities, but I was raped by a stranger at Sears when I was four. Uh, somebody pulled me into a dressing room and fucked my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I dated a girl who told me a story like that. She was like, it was like when I first met, she was working at a grocery store and she had like a gay friend and she was like 20. So it was like, this is my first like gay friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. She's like, yeah, he's so cool. When he was like six, he was uh, kidnapped in a mall and raped anally by like a stranger. I think you told us this and then she was like, yeah, crazy. now he's gay. And I'm like, and he just told you that story? What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, why are you telling me? That's her <laughs> intro. Yeah, now I gotta friend. like go shake this guy's yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many times he's washed it. <laughs> 
Wait, that's your concern is the yeah. germs from his yeah. brutal rape? I, don't have, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't Kidnappers have OCD or guys. anything. Yeah, right. You know? Think about yeah. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> it's gross. Mm-hmm. So uh, anyway... Yeah. Anyway, Jerry, do you think maybe you know we're in the bathroom? And <laughs> maybe Comedians in bathrooms getting <laughs> HIV. <laughs> 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 maybe we just uh, close the, st- the stall door here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'd like to do is uh, <laughs> if you're a hotel, you use the hotel bathroom. You go down to the public. You get a bunch of bed sheets, and then you kick down all the interior walls of the stalls. <laughs> <laughs> you create a little circus tent in there. <laughs> <laughs> really, just spread out. You use nine different stalls. You get like six guys going at the same time. Yeah, that's what I, I call a comedy festival. <laughs> just for laughs. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. All right, well, you got a cruise to Astoria? Do I? Fucked they fucked Grease up. We should have a Junta on this show. Where My I man was trying to... Jaren or Elisimo. Yeah, you can never. take over. You're not strong enough. I don't I give a shit. A I'm ready to retire listener. anyways, baby. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to? to be like, you know, sort of the coach of the show. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, yeah Emeritus. Yeah. Professor mm, yeah, Emeritus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fuck you know, fester. You got tenure. I'm, I'm like a cut man, you know? I'm mm-hmm. in the corner. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Yep. I can't I can't get in the ring anymore. Say gook. Just whispering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say gook to him, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say gook into the mic. <laughs> Listen to me, kid. You got eight more I rounds don't here. Think I can do it. You got you got twelve more can't rounds here. Any slur. You gotta say Nigo Mortensen, kid. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. Man. Look, they're coming they're, they're about to turn can't the show I off. Just talk about it's gonna be my dad's cock. It's man. gonna be lights out for you, kid, unless you <laughs> fucking get in there and you say Nigo Mortensen. What if I do a Rihanna song, but it's about sucking dick? That's also good. <laughs> yeah. I mean fuck it. I don't know why I'm telling you seem to have a pretty good grasp of what works here. <laughs> we suck dick in a homeless place. In a whole, holy place. In a, yeah. in a yeah. whole... Yeah, yeah. Whole, whole place. I fuck... I fuck my dad in a hopeless place. I suck my dad and I fucked his ass. I sucked the dead in a homeless place. I held him down and I fucked his ass. The one I, I like ass. to do is... Uh, Ooh, nah, nah. Whoops, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I'm gay. Whoops, I'm gay. Um, that one gets me. Fuck, I was doing a really good one earlier today in my house, but I forgot it. Yeah. I got the Mortal Kombat one. Got oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Suck a penis. <laughs> I'm a fat guy. <laughs> yeah. There's so many you can I'm throw in there. I'm a gay guy. Sonya, Johnny Cage, Raiden, That is. Dobbs. <laughs> the Mortal Kombat song is like prob- Richard Simmons. <laughs> it's probably Richard the- Spencer, <laughs> Martin Shkreli, <laughs> Sam, Hyde, Pepe, Brendan Wardell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a faggot. I'm a faggot. Okay. Um, right. The Mortal Kombat song has to be like the best example of hard style techno. Like that has to oh, be like the most true famous, that, yeah, hard style techno song of all time. Even though, even though we're well in our whatever to spoil, it's been a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got the new one coming out with Luke Skywalker, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's just been standing on that island, beating off. Jedi, Jedi don't, can't beat off. They hands free. That sucks. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, they <laughs> Jedi can hands. <laughs> they disappear they when they free come. come. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dude, like you know how they, suck me off and I will become more powerful than you've ever imagined. <laughs> It's like how Darth Luke Luke is just watching as Darth Vader fucking sucks him off across <laughs> across that across hallway. the room. He's like Ben, <laughs> Ben, and he just the robe collapses. <laughs> just, yeah. A little he mouth, the, a little glory hole appears yeah, yeah. on his mask. Yeah. And his <laughs> it just opens up. <laughs> He's so good at sucking dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he just He's like uses, super head. He uses mm-hmm. the Sith choke to jack guys off. Yeah, that's yeah. a good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. You fucked my father. <laughs> I am your father, and I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and he uses the lightsaber to cut Luke Skywalker's dick off. <laughs> <laughs> He's hanging by his guy's hard cock. <laughs> 
No, he's hanging by his hand, but he still he reaches down and cuts his dick off with the lightsaber. <laughs> no! Oh, no, yeah. And then the next movie starts with him getting his like Ro- dick made, remade awesome by a robot. robot, dick. By robot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, dude. Oh, dude, I want a robot dick. No, be cool. If you could have one robot part of your body, what would it be? His just dick is Jack's R2 arms. D2. Jack's arms. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> oh, ro- one robot. One part. robot part. But he has. He picked two. Yeah, well, uh, you're right. But it's like one piece. Shut no. the fuck up. You connect connect two. It connects. You said arms. That's you plural. Did, that's plural. Why, why are you so fucking bad at all of these <laughs> hypotheticals? <laughs> Every single fucking time. All right. Ask me again. No, you already blew it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't don't uh don't take everything you hear on a comedy program literally. That's all I'm saying. All you're saying is to my beloved boys please. out there <laughs> and girls. We would like to inform you that you are supposed to take everything seriously. <laughs> please disregard the gay please. statement that Adam just made, especially. <laughs> Price is subject to verification. <laughs> Adam's very gay. Only participating locations only. Adam is gay. I just want to say... <laughs> I just want to say to the boys, to both of you, you guys, my, as my best friends... Yes. That... <clears throat> I'm sorry I got hot just now. And That's right, dude. I don't know whether that was you like... You get hot for me and stop or chill, dude. Yeah, we're hanging. We're having a good time. Yeah, you're having a good time with your coordinated harassments. No, we just chatting. We didn't. Do, we don't discuss anything outside. This we've never. Yeah, we you guys we, do. We haven't talked signals once. to each other. Me and Nick have never spoken when it's not been recorded. No, ever. Nick. Nick does third base coach style signals to stop when he wants him to go in. For you're just jealous that you can't untrue. do signals because your limbs or wrists are too limp. <laughs> My wrists are getting a lot stronger recently <laughs> from beating guys off with both hands. Yeah. Really Whatever, heavy dicks. I'm in a good mood and you can't. <laughs> <laughs> From doggy paddling in a big bucket of cum. <laughs> so he built his wrist up. Yeah. Guys, well, help me. I can't drink all this cum. Adam, I drink your way out. He's churning it in the butter. Two mice. <laughs> Two ch- mice for to a bucket it into of cum. a big bucket of cum butter. <laughs> Two mice. <laughs> can you do walking? Yeah, I can do walking. Do it. Two mice. That's good. I'm gay. In a two. bucket of cum. <laughs> in a bucket of cum. You see, there's a mouse named Adam, Adam Friedland, <laughs> and he got stuck inside <laughs> of a bucket. And it's not a normal bucket, you know. You go through your life, you see one, two, many buckets. But this bucket in particular was filled with cum. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam, at first in pleasure, and then later... And Tara jumped into the bucket <laughs> to have a nice afternoon cum jacuzzi. <laughs> at which point he realized, whoa, there's no way I'm getting out of this bucket of cum. <laughs> and so he. Nice. And then what's the moral? He sucked as much of the cum up his ass <laughs> as he could. Wow. I didn't expect you taking that direct. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. Like a big vacuum. He's got an ass like a Roomba. Very wide and flat. Very good at sucking. <laughs> Anyhow, he's made cum butter. That's the, <laughs> that's the end of it. Remember that guy in Baltimore? Do you guys are, I don't remember his name, but he would, um, uh, he would just do walk-in all the time. He had a walk-in and a There's Denzel a guy impression. like that in every city. Yeah. yeah. That does so their true. entire act. Because it's the easiest impression. To That's do. a yeah. local comedy. And he would just... Staple. He would it's start- me, the guy who can sort of do Christopher Walken. <laughs> right, right, right. He would start every set with like some a walk-in impression would go well. And then he'd be like, you guys ever see The Walking Dead? He'd be like, wouldn't it be something if Christopher Walken was in The Walking... Oh, yeah. And he would just do... Every like all these different these scenarios, zombies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's crazy. I love it, dude. You can't do walking. Uh, I can only really do Stone Cold Steve Austin and my friend Eric. I'm gay. That's that's, my- that's <laughs> awful. I know. And it's, Michael Caine, as done by uh, yeah, Steve Coogan <laughs> in yeah, the I trip. Mean, you were really trying to get some mileage out of that one. I wasn't trying to get any. You were so excited about it the first. 
<laughs> the first time you did that? Shut the fuck You're up. like, guys, I just saw this movie. <laughs> You're such a <laughs> fucking piece of shit. <laughs> You're such a piece of shit. Uh, you guys, the joy in this room right now isn't translating to the recording. We're all having fun. <laughs> the three of no, us. No, like the smile. Not just you uh, What two. I was talking about was the smile on Nick's face. <laughs> <laughs> this literally is the happiest I ever see him. Hey, yeah, man, it's I'm having so a good, good day. I just bought $1,400 <laughs> worth of audio equipment. That's I got, cool. I'm going I'm to be listening to fucking Candlebox, Skinny Puppy, <laughs> Delamitri, <laughs> K. Del- Luscious <laughs> Jackson, White Town. We're talking HF Festival 1997. Eagle Eye Cherry. This bitch. Eagle Eye Cherry. G- Jimmy's Chicken Shack. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was cool enough in elementary school to know how to do that. Yeah. Fi- uh, uh, this is the principal speaking. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, school's canceled because I'm gay now. <laughs> uh, uh, all, by the way, all the retarded kids have detention. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fuck. Dude, I listened to a little bit of the Matthew McConaughey autobiography. Oh hell oh, yeah, yeah. you were telling up, me. We came up on like Amazon's. Like I don't know why, I just listened. He to He reads it. it himself. It's very funny. You know what? I'll just pull it up. And listen yeah, to let's example. listen to it because he transitions to talking about being molested. But like he's like, he got oh, molested. Fuck yeah. He was like, I was one How's of the, he so chill? I was one of the best kids on the soccer team. Sucked by the I coach. Led, I led the league in yellow cards as a goalie. <laughs> when I was thirteen, my uncle fucked me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a twist. <laughs> It's a real twist. <laughs> he like catches you off guard. You're like, what? Yes, when I was 13 when I years was old, 12. an 18 year old boy held me down and fucked me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> the new Lincoln Navigator. <laughs> Damn, that really uh, takes a fuck. takes mm. a turn. A pussy getting legend, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So the one of the, the, the more satisfaction guy, or... at the time and still. I found a reliable theme. Mm -hmm. So I packed up those journals and took a one-way ticket to solitary confinement in the desert where I began writing what you hear now. An album, a record, a story of my life so far. Mm -hmm. Things I witnessed, dreamed, chased, gave, and received. Truth bombs that interrupted my space and time in ways I could not ignore. Contracts I have made with myself, many of which I live up to, most of which I still pursue. Mm-hmm. These are my sights and scenes, felt and figured out, cools and shamefuls. Graces, why truths, and beauties of the I, I can't imagine. I hate him, invitations, I can't, I can't imagine an entire... Getting away with, getting caught, reading an entire getting book. Wet, book trying to dance at this the fucking, like... Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. Why is he doing it? It's like bebop Well, because it might just be the intro. I don't know if it continues like this. It's being jazzy. It's, it's overridden for the sake of, like... Experiment called life. Being a guy that, Hopefully, yeah. it's medicine that I takes just want to get to the part where he just drops it in the A spaceship to Mars without needing your pilot's license. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's just celebrities. It sucks, dude. <laughs> a spaceship to Mars without, without needing, needing your... No, it's what? a love letter to life. It's a penis. Now, speaking of bumper stickers, I have always loved bumper stickers. So much so <laughs> that I've stuck bumper <laughs> to sticker so and made them one you. word. Bumper sticker. What They're lyrics, what? one-liners, that? quick hitters, unobtrusive personal preferences. Is this the that guy he publicly is? Express. Of course. Yeah. They're cheap and they're fun. They don't have to be politically correct because, well, they're just bumper stickers. <laughs> From the no. font what the to the color scheme this? to the word or words they say. This sounds like one of those comics that tries to rip off George Carlin. Yeah. You. you know what I mean? Uh, the worst, if yeah. they've got a family or not. If they're free spirits or conformist. Funny or serious. What kind of pets they have. Get what to getting raped. They like. yeah. Even what they're I'll just, We'll keep it on in the background. Yeah. Over the last 50 years, I've been collecting my bumper stickers. Some I've seen, some I've heard. But it goes, I swear to God, it just drops right into the... Do you have a time series? No, and it's also... There's no like ca- it's just you hit the play sample button do. on Amazon. I've included quite mm-hmm. a few of my favorites in this book. All right, get the to sole it. objective is the pursuit of the singular finish with only the arrival in sight. <laughs> this <laughs> is what brings us together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, my ass fucked. Is that it? Sometimes you gotta go back to go forward. And I don't mean going that's back from, to reminisce or chase that's ghost. That's from the show. I mean, go that's back from, to see where you came from. Where oh, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what from True Detective. He's just copying True Detective. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst written shows ever. <laughs> I remember hey, that, that was a good show. Quite well, a first season. Sold a lot of cars, too. Shut the fuck up. 
time. The ending was circle. stupid, but that girl's tits so, are awesome. That was how did I get stupid. here? I take it back. That well, was I've earned stupid. a few scars. Here here we we go. Go. This this rodeo of humanity. I've been good at it. I've been not so good at it, and ultimately, I've found some pleasure in all of it. I might take way. another second. Here are some facts about me to help uh, set the table. Uh, I am the youngest brother of three and the son of parents who okay. are twice divorced and thrice married to each other. Mm-hmm. We grew cool. up saying I love you to each other. We meant it. Oh oh my God. I got whipped That's into so much my different than other putting family. on a Cracker Jack tattoo when I was 10 years old. When I first threatened to run away from home, my parents packed my bags for me. Damn cool. My dad wasn't there the day I was born. He called my mom and said, only thing I have to say is if it's a boy, don't name him Kelly. The that only thing I ever knew I wanted to be Kelly's in life a good name was a father. For a boy. Mm-hmm. I learned to swim when my mom threw me in the Lano River, and I was either going to float off the rocky waterfall 30 yards downstream no, or make it back to the he's bank. A liar. That's not what <laughs> I made it to the bank. I was always the first one to wear out the knees in my tough skin jeans. Because I was sucking so much. For <laughs> two years, I led the under 12 soccer league in red cards as a goalie. Wow. When I kept whining about my lone pair of tennis shoes being old and out of fashion, my mom told me, keep griping, and I'll take you to meet the boy with no feet. I was blackmailed into having sex for the first time when I was 15. (laughs) I was certain I was going to hell for the premarital sex. Today, (laughs) I'm merely certain that I hope that's not the case. I was He's molested laughing. by a man when I was 18 <laughs> while knocked unconscious in the back of a van. Okay. I've done peyote. Okay. So I'm like, wait, 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 peyote. Wait. Oh, he, he fucking zooms past that so fast. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that I got some pussy <laughs> and I was that, raped by a man. He said it's so I, happy. I, I, too. I, I forget. I don't know how I scrubbed the first time. I was like, what's the fucking Matthew McConaughey audio book sounds like? Because I did. I certainly you just didn't got have, there? I certainly didn't have to listen to all that. I think you have a power, it, Nick. It started at uh, like the first chapter. But yeah, <laughs> like, well, I played crazy. soccer and. My dad was mean and I was molested. A girl tried to fuck me and I mm. said yes. And then she uh, blackmailed him into sex. <laughs> it yeah, was pretty, pretty cool. Good. And uh, somebody fucked my ass in a van. When I was 18, <laughs> I was unconscious and molested. <laughs> I've done payo. <peyote. laughs> <laughs> that that is thing. one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. That's awesome. I might I might have to read the thing. I don't know if I could listen to him say it. No, oh, yeah. I, I got you. Should you should just buy it the and, full experience. And, and I'll get the book and we'll do like a Chapo style review. Yeah. Yeah. Of, um, yeah, we'll, have Vir- we'll have Virgil on to bring up. So those guys read, all of them read a book? No, they split it up, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my God. Sections. I was going to say, that'd be horrible. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine if all three of us had to read one gay ass movie? We can't even remember a movie we all already <laughs> saw because we wanted to. Yeah, we make. <laughs> I also wanted to ask another question because you said you and Petey Pablo were high school roommates. It says here you were born in 1942 and mm. that Petey was actually born in 1973. My manager so is such an asshole. I maybe it was some him. other. <laughs> I'm confusing him. Right <laughs> Charlie, that's Whoa, unnecessary. Charlie. Jesus Christ. Well, I was I invented the soft day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who did you jack off to in that 70s show? To Dad. Mila, dude. No, and you Red. jacked off to Red. Yeah, you jacked yeah. off to Red. Adam. I jacked off to yeah. the seven. You call that a penis, Friedland? <laughs> <laughs> and he's yelling at me. I jacked off to Donna's dad. The like, he was hot. The like, oh Donna's mom, good. Donna's God. mom was. You better ass. believe I jacked off mm-hmm. to her. Adam I jacked too. off to Donna's dad too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already said that. You yeah. see that one coming? Yeah, I already said that. Right? <laughs> I preempted that one. Jesus, I can't even get a grip on this cock here. It's too small. <laughs> that guy was a great character. Yeah. How you doing? I'm gay now. How you doing? <laughs> Show you me doing? your penis. No, the whole penis. The whole, Wait, that's the whole thing? That's the whole thing, oh I feel. Oh, my God. F- it's like when you look at the, the hamburger on the menu with the at McDonald's, <laughs> and then it comes out, and it's a fucking child's penis. <laughs> it's not the same thing at all. <laughs> How did that guy talk? That was, we started pretty had good. Like a, yeah. yeah. Where was it? It was set in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. yeah. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, I believe I jacked off Same as Happy Days. Oh, really? Interesting. I don't know. I didn't <laughs> that was in Wisconsin, too, I yeah. think. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, dude. It was so funny that uh, Henry Winkler was like a guy that was cool and got pussy. Because mm-hmm. yeah. he was such a gentle little man. Yeah. How much pussy do you think he got for being Fonzie? An insane amount, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, he just took girls into the bathroom. Yeah, he his just office. Hit, hit their pussies Not with as much the jukebox, pussies. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they squirted. As Dan Schneider gets for playing his famous character Stavros in the Come to the Podcast. <laughs> I, I am not. The actor, I am not the actor, Dan Schneider. Yeah, I know you're playing Stavros. No, no, yeah. no. And your commitment to the character is no, great. There's no commitment outside of your real life is notorious pedophile Dan. No, I am not. That is not who I am <laughs> right now. Of course, not. and even if I was that guy, I wouldn't. I your commitment is what I respect. I am not as an artist. An, I am. Let me say right now, Mrs. Just, man I'm speaking, tapping my nose here. If Dan were here, I'd tell him great job. Yeah, the man, the man speaking right now, bit. me is not Dan Schneider in any way, shape, or form. Anyone acting well, right shape now? and form, yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's no. true. First of all, f- I definitely we've been through this. Yeah. I have much more fucking panache. You said I have vitality. much more vitality and mm-hmm. vibrance than Dan Schneider. None of that describes shape and form. Yeah. Yeah, shape and it, form. It is does though. Much, no, it's facsimile. I have a different form. Okay, shape I might be style, willing to give you. Style may be different, but yeah. form and shape. Form. Yeah. yeah. Form is within the shape, the, within bulbous, the bounds of the shape. A bulbous, uh, lecherous. I am willing. First of all, I'm not lecherous. Second of all, I am. I am more taught. Than Dan Schneider is taking, I bet you taking he is, tickle pictures with twelve year olds. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never do that. His behavior calling disgusts. 12, me. Calling your twelve year old employees into your office for tickle fights. I, I, live, in, I live at the bottom of the Marianne Trench. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Six down there. <laughs> All right, see you, dude. Sorry about that, Adam. I mean, you know how it's fine, dude. Right? I know how it can be. Juan Carlos, anyway, I just want to thank you for your strength today. We what didn't say thank you. What are you so mad about <laughs> on your show? <laughs> I think this is actually Why good are you exercise. mad today? <laughs> yeah. Is it because you are gay? <laughs> Juan Carlos, first of all... Is it because uh, you saw your dad's D? <laughs> no, that was just a joke we were doing on our podcast. But That's what a- are you mad about? Let's talk about it. <laughs> I admitted is- to being raped by Brian Singer on the show and you won't talk about... <laughs> I think this is actually like... You said we yeah, talk about your personal life. This is like an incredible like therapeutic... We have to like, talk like, about my personal life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the only way Nick can relate emotionally is through his characters. Yeah. I am sorry if I hurt you. This is the way we can, you can empathize. You can, you can, I'm you can sorry figure out the that concept I, of empathy. I call you those words. <laughs> <laughs> I treat you like bitch mom, but I respect yeah. and love you. Yeah, it's called being an actor, fellas. <laughs> It's uh, called Well Molestrios, thank you for telling star. me how much you appreciate me <laughs> and how much you value our friendship. Shut that and you how shut the shut fuck up. up. <laughs> no, Molestrios, shut I, up, I was bitch. kidding you. I thought bitch. we were making progress. <laughs> shut up, bitch. Kidding, I thought, <laughs> bitch Adam. <laughs> God, Molestrios. Shut up to the bug faggot. Geo, Geo's here too. <laughs> yes, Adam is a fucking gay motherfucker. Mm. I'm gonna tell your mother. Alright, let's watch the racial slurs and the homophobic slurs on the show, mm-hmm. please. It's yeah. we've gone too far, I think. Yeah, I agree. And you know who Guys, I blame? Me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's one hundred percent right. <laughs> it's right. always your fault. But really though, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to have a long talk about your little uh temper tantrums and storm cloud pouty sessions on uh, on the world's greatest podcast. Because That's right. If you think I'm gonna tolerate emotional volatility for my employees, <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind. What do you think this is? Starbucks? <laughs> I don't work for you. This is Cumtown Incorporated. <laughs> the Microsoft. LLC, little little cock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that ought to, I think that ought to do it. Yeah, probably. When uh, well, let's plug the shows. What is this? Uh, yes. Primo tomorrow night. So this is coming out Sunday, Monday night. Last Funny Moms of the Year. Big lineup until we we're got off Colonel for over Buster. a month. We got, we got Colonel Buster. Colonel Buster. We got the Scarlet. Miss Scarlett Hansen, Gay, Gl- all Gary, of the Gay Ross, yeah. Glenn, G- Gay, what Gay, is it? Gary, no, it Gay was, Ross. It was Glenn, very Glenn Gay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Gay Chandler, <laughs> G- Gay Ross, <laughs> Glenn, very Glenn yeah. Gay. How about a show called Gay Friends? <laughs> <laughs> Gay. Gay Joey. Yeah. <laughs> your job's a joke, you're broke. You're gay. And you're fucking gay. <laughs> 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 no, the sound is I'm sucking dick 
Gong, 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 gong. <laughs> we had all, all three people on Funny Moms have been on Come Town. That's They're right. Come Town alums. Timmy yeah. Dillon, Tim Bonnie Dillon. McFarlane. Be any more gay? <laughs> Petey Dat Boy and Bonnie McFarlane. But Rachel, I thought you had a dick. <laughs> no, Ross. I told you years ago, I'm a woman. <laughs> but, but I thought I could suck your dick. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> very funny. Tonight on Gay Friends, <laughs> following Gay Seinfeld, <laughs> and then later on The Gay Simpsons. <laughs> and Marge, regular fr- terrible news. <laughs> and then right. regular Fraser. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, we're not going to top that. That's, that's good. a good one. And Adam is especially not going to top that, so don't say anything. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the show. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> No, I gotta meet. I that. have to. I have to make another trip. To him. <laughs> I'm going on vacation. <laughs> I spent six months learning Chinese, <laughs> which you may notice I'm speaking right now. Oh my god! It's like he taught him, He taught himself Chinese from the movie Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. That rocks. When I Chris, didn't yeah, Christopher Lambert, who is Chinese and plays very Raven. Chinese. I'm. Go- I've been sucking penis for <laughs> three hundred years. So Shao Kahn won't find me. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Raiden, why would you do that? China, I don't know, man. China's so crowded. For years, I did not recognize that my power was electricity. I thought it was sucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> I got really good at it. I thought my po- my secret move would be sucking cock until I discovered the power of electricity. <laughs> And now my fatality is electricity rather than sucking a man to completion. <laughs> well, he's dizzy. Would that even kill him? <laughs> Would that even kill him, Raiden? Finish him. <laughs> No, uh, no, not no, like, stop. Not that. That's not what no, I. No, we're not on that gay shit. I didn't mean fit. I meant kill him. Oh my god. I didn't mean finish him <laughs> with your mouth. With your mouth. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Everybody else, get in here. The, the yeah. voice calls in all the other Mortal Kombat guys to kill the game. Yeah. Mortal Kombat guy. Disgusting. <laughs> Blasphemous. Gatality. <laughs> Anomaly. Abnormality. HIVality. <laughs> Virality. <laughs> Virality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that one's that animalities and ba- animalities, baby alities. Animal. Remember that there was a baby turn, one. Yeah, where you turn into a baby and then fuck the guy. You know <laughs> what? what? Babyality. That would be embarrassing to get raped by a baby. Fatality. Wait, you turn you fuck I someone as a baby? Was or? A real one. No, babyality was a real one. <laughs> baby. <laughs> the thing becomes <laughs> the guy you beat becomes a baby and yeah. then you fuck him. Ba- a babyality is a. Finisher introduced in Mortal Kombat 2. The move allows players to turn their opponents into an infant version of the character. The infant version is often only wearing a diaper. Hmm. Uh, they're sometimes in a full outfit. <laughs> to perform a baby alley, this player perform a special button combination for their character and have won the final round using only high or low kick. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can only use kicks? Yeah. After a baby alley is performed, the sound of a baby crying plays. But you don't fuck it, like you said. That's what I remember. <laughs> fuck the baby. <laughs> now it's time to and, fuck the baby. And now you must fuck it, <laughs> Braden, and prove you're not gay. <laughs> I don't see how that would prove that I'm uh, not gay. I, but I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> that was never... <laughs> that's why you're making me fight is because I'm gay. <laughs> Why would I prove that I'm not gay when the only reason I'm here in the from the get go is because I'm a gay guy? Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. Sorry. <laughs> That now that's, it's coming back true. to me. I've kind of been on autopilot recently. I've been getting into Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> but because I have borderline personality disorder, 
<laughs> and my boyfriend isn't paying attention to me <laughs> when I cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Where we choose the best fighters from all over Bushwick <laughs> and make them compete to blow a load directly on my face. <laughs> we have a 15 minute conversation about Christopher Lash <laughs> and then they fuck me in my mouth. <laughs> That is the Mortal Kombat announcer. If he was a whore from Brook- <laughs> from Brooklyn, <laughs> that's good, man. Uh, I like ho- that uh, whore that went to Pratt. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's Christopher Lash? I feel <clears throat> like I need to get up on this what's, guy. What's your name again? My name is Madeline. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a very hot woman's body. But My name is Maddie. Can and you I stop weigh talking like that? Ninety-five pounds. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to I getting my dick sucked the by The same you. haircut as a cocker spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same haircut as a King Charles spaniel. <laughs> and I have a body count of 600. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those oh, gals man. are out there doing the Lord's work, honestly. No, yes. I disagree. That's what I'm trying to get at here, is I, Mickey Mouse, uh-huh, <laughs> want to make Pluto suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought maybe... That's, get it? You get fucked <laughs> in the ass by Pluto. Uh, so here's the premise. Uh, Mickey Mouse, the Mickey Mouse show I first pitched in 1919 okay. to, uh... <laughs> Some of my friends at Walt Disney Studios. <laughs> okay. At the time, I was just a mouse. <laughs> well, yeah. You were Steamboat said, Willie, weren't you? Not yet. I was just a mouse. Okay. And I said, the idea for the show is I work on a steamboat, mm. but I, uh, I have a dog uh-huh. who sucks my cock. <laughs> oh, wow. And they said, maybe there's like a cat or something that uh-huh. he's your boss. <laughs> I said, all right, fine. I'll do one for you, Sounds one for good. me. One for me, and eventually when we, you know, we get to... But if this does numbers, I want a dog if, that sucks my dick. Well, we're getting a dog that sucks me <laughs> off. <laughs> and then they came up with Goofy, because <laughs> Goofy used to mean queer. Because back then, queer meant, you know, yeah. you were... Um, He's like just a, a goofy kind of guy. You're like a dandy or something. Queer yeah. meant goofy, and goofy meant queer. <laughs> <laughs> they swapped. And they switched them. You know, like pink and blue back in Victorian times. Right. And uh, so Goofy was supposed to be a gay man (laughs) who's a dog. With a dog's head. And I said, I don't want to get my dick sucked by a gay guy. I want it to be a dog (laughs) sucking my dick. And they said, okay, well, I don't know if we can really get away with that. And I came up with the idea for Pluto. (laughs) Which had been a recently discovered planet at the time. Right. So it was hot. It was hot. Hot. <laughs> Pluto was a hot Pluto item. Pluto was on fire back then. Pluto. It's me. <laughs> and that's where I came up uh, with my idea for 12 rules for life. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you're like a self-help guy. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought you were Mickey oh, Mouse, but it turns out oh, you're, you're Jordan, you're, uh, Jordan Peterson. No, I'm yeah. Mickey Mouse. Oh, you are Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's uh-huh. right. He does love cartoons. I love cartoons. He cries about like Pinocchio. And They're going to change the cartoon so it's not Mickey getting his dick sucked by Pluto. <laughs> they wanted to be Mickey and, and, and Goofy in a relationship together. <laughs> that's disgusting as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <That's disgusting. laughs> two, two men being gay is gross. And, the, and not as funny as a man it, getting his dick sucked that's by what a dog. Marxists want. And although, although it is funny, we will admit that, yeah. it is not as funny as getting your dick sucked by a dog. They want to force pronouns on us. <laughs> Instead of everybody being a mouse or maybe like a, a duck that doesn't wear pants. <laughs> I'm daddy. I'm daddy. Yeah. I'm Donald the gay dog. I want to see Donald. Donald. Right? Let me ask you this, Mr. <laughs> Zizek. How come we can't see Donald Duck's penis? <laughs> That's a good question. After the show, Hillary Clinton was on uh, the Howard Stern Dude, show. Howard looked horrible. Mm. Dude. What the fuck? To dude, see that your guy heroes, sucks. To see your heroes be complicit in that. I mean, he's just mm-hmm. a rich guy now. Like, and what? You, know, you think Bernie's... Uh, I can't do Howard Stern at all. No, it's it's deep. And it's like New York. It's but Long I have, Island. I have no idea it's where to... It's super low. I have Long no Island. idea where to even <clears throat> come in on it. I'm gay. No, it's... <laughs>
I can't do it. You can't, you can't do any Howard Stern, I can, and I'm gay. I can do a couple impressions. <laughs> Hold on, I'm nailing yeah. it. I'm actually gay. You know, it's me, Howard Stern. I'm, I'm gay. Howard Stern. Never mind. Mind. Bernie uh, Sanders is gay also. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, but in wait, a bad way. Wait a minute. Are you saying Bernie Sanders is a faggot? <laughs> Are you saying Bernie Sanders is a... <laughs> Robin, Hillary, uh, Robin, bring me my Bernie. slippers so I can go outside and take it. <laughs> and Hillary's. <laughs> then Hillary gonna go outside and I'm gonna take a big. That sounds great, Howard. Yeah. Uh yeah, I can't do it, Hillary. <laughs> dude, no, we're crushing it. Yeah, we got Howard. Hillary, 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 Hillary down, that's dude. Hillary. That's I'm. Hard. I'm actually gay. That's me. Uh, Hillary. So Hillary, tell me. Hillary you. Clinton. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> uh, Bernie fucking stay around. Bernie ruined my chances because she was like. Right, he sucks. Yeah, because he, he he sent me a letter saying he was going to rape me in <laughs> June of oh my God. 2016. And wow. The only reason I ran is to get black women out of jail. That's so great and of you, And a lot you, of people, I, he stole all my ideas. Can like I see Medicare your pussy? All. This, these were all ideas. Yes, that me and Liz Warren came mm-hmm. up with. <laughs> I know, you can't trust Jews. Yeah, you really can, except for my good friend Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> rest in peace, who killed himself. Uh, uh, he was a misunderstood guy. Yeah. And me and your husband, Bill, had a great time on those airplanes. Harvey Weinstein, too. He, Epstein and Weinstein, the, the, the Waluigi and Wario. <laughs> of, of rape. <laughs> <laughs> of rape. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Howard Stern Show. Come back, and uh, we're going to get Hillary to ride the Sibian. Oh, Howard, you crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Howard, you crazy for this one, Howard. Howard. It's Cleveland from the family guy. <laughs> oh, my God, Howard. <laughs> Giggity, I'm Howard Stern. <laughs> Howard, you crazy for this one. Uh, I'm I'm freaking Hillary Clinton. Oh, that's, that's a, great, a that's good, good Peter. That's a good Peter, you. dude. Yeah. yeah. You can do them because you look No. Because you're fat. <laughs> that is not one. Like I did that. a pretty good quagmire. Because you had a terrible Peter Griffin last time you tried to do it. No. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was, it was so... Oh, P- Lois. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really bad. So it's good to see that you... Dude, I'm just out you, here free... You well, were so humiliated. You went back into the workshop with that one. Well, I was not humiliated. I'm never humiliated. You watched YouTube vids. What I did was I felt... See, it's kind of like in basketball when you're when you're on a hot streak. For example, yeah. I just nailed Howard Stern so much mm-hmm. that yeah. my confidence allowed me to nail Peter yeah. Griffin. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I'm Howard Stern and I'm gay. That sounds good. Jeez, law. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what Peter... I can't do Peter It's Griffin. all right, man. <clears throat> Not everybody's gifted with the instrument like I am. I would just have to listen to him again. It's an easy voice to do. Howard? Yeah, it's really hard. No, no. Family, Peter? Family guy. Yeah, yeah. It's Rhode Island. Rhode yeah. Island stuff. I'll be in Rhode Island. Who, who plays the neighbor? It's Putty, right? Yeah, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Of course it is. Yeah, let's look. put that together. Yeah, it's me. Shouts out to Putty getting it's checks after good checks. Good for him. Here I am, the neighbor. Oh, someone said to me after one of our They previous... said that you're a faggot. No. <laughs> well... <laughs> At the end. I heard that too. <laughs> no, yeah. stop it. I also heard that Howard Stern. We're, we're going live to the guy, and he said uh, that you're a. F- <laughs> <laughs> that was going live to the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Him just saying it again. <laughs> I've got him on another... Uh, okay. Elaine. <laughs> Let's patch him through. Yeah. Elaine, it's me, family guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here with Adam. Right? <laughs> what were you saying earlier? <laughs> oh, right, that he's a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you heard it from him, <laughs> Elaine... <laughs> Elaine from Seinfeld is the guy. Yeah. Elaine from Seinfeld is the guy. Uh, yeah, she's my uh, girlfriend on another show. Well, thank you so much, Putty Family Guy. Yeah. This is the Howard Stern Show. Yeah. Come back. We're all going to have sex with Robin afterwards. Mm-hmm. After oh, this. my God. <laughs> Howard, you crazy for this one. <laughs> uh, nothing. What kind of wallet do you have? I have a Ridge wallet. He has a purse. He's got a purse. Well, inside my purse, I have a Ridge wallet. He's, he's got a... 
Elaine. <laughs> Elaine, can we get you on the line here on the Howard Stern yeah. Show? Yeah, I'm talking to Elaine right now. Great, let's hear from her. What kind of wallet does Adam have? Yeah, she says he's got a purse. And does he keep it in his own pussy? He keeps it in his ass. I got oh, a oh, okay. thank you for clarifying. He's I got, got a, a pussy and an ass. No, I don't. <laughs> wow, he's got both. Yeah. <laughs> I got a ridge. <laughs> oh. Howard. Robin, do you have a pussy and an ass? Howard, leave that boy alone. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you fuck. <laughs> no, Robin, thank you. Fucking, you. <laughs> what did you just call me, Howard? I didn't say anything, you dumb... <laughs> oh, my God, Howard. <laughs> please please end it with a soft A, Howard. <laughs> please just let it end with a soft A. <laughs> no, no, Howard. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the longest <laughs> 12 years I had to listen to that We're on satellite radio I though. didn't say the N word Yeah so 12 The 12 years of slave That's It's my, uh, Michael it's Fassbender Just saying that for 12 years <laughs> And then at the end It's a soft day And he gives the guy a high five And he's like Alright go back to New York And that's It's a happy <clears throat> It was molested. <laughs> Old gold cigarettes. They're molested. <laughs> and that's the campaign. I love Don, it, you've Don. done it again. <laughs> Don, Don, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. You've done it again. <laughs> I feel like I can only do John Hamm if I got the headphones in. Mm. I'm gay. How is it? Is this him? No, it mm. sounds good. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's I know what you're doing. too obama Yeah. I'm Ron Schott. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm Don Draper. <laughs> I'm Barack Obama, and I'm gay. <laughs> I'm Colin Quinn. I'm gay. Yeah. I'm Colin Quinn, and I'm gay. And I'm, I'm Ryan, Ryan Shutt. Shutt. <laughs> I'm gay. And I'm also Colin Quinn. <laughs> My name's Ryan Shutt. <laughs> <laughs> the head of advertising. And I'm gay. Oh, that sounds like uh, John Hamm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Why? I'm Ryan Shutt. Why would you be named Ryan Shutt <laughs> if you couldn't I'm put your mouth? On another man's penis. <laughs> a man's dick isn't just a cock. It's an opportunity. It's something to aspire to. It's something that is inside of us all. <laughs> Putting a dick inside of you. That's the campaign. I'm Ryan Shutt, and I'm gay. <laughs> and I'm also Obama. And I'm Barack Obama, <laughs> and I'm gay. <laughs> uh, Don, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don, are you all right? Don? Yeah. Don. <laughs> Don. Don. He's just taking acid in his fucking room. What are memories? <laughs> are they aspirational? What do memories mean to us? Does it mean being gay with another man? <laughs> <laughs> the you pull right. Yeah. 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 You can use them to take pictures of men you've just had anonymous yeah. gay sex with. Pittsburgh doesn't make steel. They make gay men. <laughs> like Brian Schott, who I am. <laughs> and I'm also Obama, and I'm also gay. And I'm also Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> A child that has yet to be born. <laughs> A child whose teen mom is somewhere being down with a swirl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny calling the people gay as <laughs> different guys who are Barack Obama. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck is John Hamm up to, man? I, I feel like know. he should he should have been in like a big ass movie. He by was now. in Baby Driver. He does all the voiceovers for like Mercedes. Yeah, he's Benz. on everything. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I know he's caked Mercedes. up. Mercedes. It's a car you can have gay sex in. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I love about a Mercedes is the amount of gay sex you can have. <laughs> <laughs> Why come to Bethlehem? <laughs> what about Bethlehem? Is great. Possibly. The ability to have unlimited gay sex. <laughs> Pittsburgh, the home of gay sex. Somebody should teach Donald Trump a uh, like to get him to do like a perfect Barack Obama impression, <laughs> and then he's just doing Obama every presser. How funny would that be? He's he just like, breaks into it. Oh, uh, I don't know about the virus, but I'm gay. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's me. <laughs> Who remembers me? <laughs> What yeah. is that? Is that De Niro Obama? Hey, it's me. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm fucking I'm a, the parents over here. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm fucking meeting the parents. Yeah. 
Yeah, parents. You gotta, parents. You no, gotta, ben Stiller's gay. Uh, you, you gotta. You gotta meet the parents. Nero <laughs> <laughs> Obama, everybody. You gotta when you when the parents show up. You gotta meet them. Okay, it's that simple. Uh, you can't can't go with not me. You, you gotta meet the parents. Yeah, you gotta meet the parents. <laughs> 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 Speaking of one of the gayest De Niro movies, <laughs> not even a good De Niro movie. <laughs> you gotta, uh, and I'll say, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm a, I'm a dirty grandpa. Yeah, uh, I'm getting pussy uh, from that one bitch who's in every comedy for five yeah, you years. Know, you got Rocky and you got Bullwinkle, <laughs> and they were friends with each other, and you know, there's bad guys. Bad guys in the movie. <laughs> oh, you fuck. Can't, you can't be a bad guy. You can't be a bad guy in Rocky and Bullwinkle. You can't be. <laughs> Did you see Rocky and Bullwinkle? No. <laughs> I want to call it. Backgammon play. is some Greek people play the shit. Backgammon is like Mid East, Middle Eastern. <laughs> I used to play backgammon yeah. when I was a wee, when I was very small. Mm -hmm. I still Are play. You? No, you don't. Yes, I do. When was the last time you played backgammon? Like last week. No. With who? With my girlfriend. <laughs> see, you that's how you know he's lying. Loser. Because I, lying. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't sound well, cool well, to well, say well, that. Well, 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 I was lying. playing with... A, yeah, we never uh, we never played back. Then. That's not my <laughs> girlfriend. That's, his girlfriend's here. <laughs> that's not my girlfriend. His girlfriend, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> that's a girl's yeah, I'm name. I'm here in the apartment. <laughs> Eric sounds kind of based up. It's me, Adam's quote-unquote girlfriend. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> It's not, and I didn't play back then. <laughs> That's just Nick Adam's doing a voice. Gay. Adam's gay with me. <laughs> but uh, we didn't play back okay, There's so two you're... of us. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> Eric you guys are just Derek. making stuff up. That's made up. <laughs> Eric We're and Derek. Adam's girlfriend, quote unquote. <laughs> We're two guys. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's comedy gold that's right there. So, that is so true about no, you having two true. boyfriends <laughs> instead of a true. girlfriend. I don't want you guys to keep. <laughs> you, you guys just lie on me and lie on me. <laughs> that's another thing Sonic's not saying. You can't say. Yeah, you can't say lie on me. Yeah, <laughs> don't let me catch you saying that, guys. <laughs> I'm ready to tune into Tucker Carlson tonight to see what he has to say about the supply chain. The supply chain. Where's everything gone? Perhaps up a gay man's ass in California. <laughs> Perhaps the governor of California is keeping all the supplies in his ass. Oh, wait, he can't because he's using it for gay sex. <laughs> That's pretty good, Tucker, honestly. That's a solid talk. Yeah. All you have to say is, what is going on? Yeah. What's happening yeah. here? What's going on? What's that? I what love, happened? What I happened? I love his concern. Get your lips off my penis. Yeah. Stop rubbing your mustache on my balls. I'm being bent over and fucked in my ass. <laughs> what what's is going, going on? What's going on? What's going on? Why is my asshole doing that? Is Why is this, it accepting it so readily? When did this become sex? <laughs> <laughs> When did this become the thing I dream about when I close my eyes at night? Sex has changed a lot. You don't need a PhD to know that. Forty years ago, it involved a man putting his erect penis into a woman. But now, I'm getting bent over and fucked in my ass. <laughs> what is going on? What's happening? And why do I like it so much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Illegal aliens pouring across the border yeah. and into my ass. <laughs> <laughs> pouring across the border like cum is pouring out of my asshole after I've been cream pied. The Democratic Party today announced that they think I'm cute. <laughs> 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 it's also, I mean, <laughs> those guys all have the same voice. Anderson Cooper sounds basically That's true. The same. That's no, true. Anderson's yeah. more blase. Mm -hmm. He's more like a little bored. He's got a little gay boredom to like him. Gay boredom. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to oh, impress mom. Me. You have to impress me. My mother was a Vanderbilt. Conservative, oh, conservatives mom. are making the argument that gay sex has changed, but to me, it feels exactly the same. <laughs> I've been having it since I was four, <laughs> since my uh, uh, uncle molested me. 
There's no way a rich family like that doesn't molest. And the now the E. Jean Carroll for the rape minute. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Anderson. <laughs> She's just in the middle of a hurricane for some reason. <laughs> Anderson, I'm live here in the Outer Banks. A stop sign just flew into my pussy. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah. And would you say that Donald Trump sent the stop sign? Is it perhaps from Mar-a-Lago? I can't tell you, but if it if it did happen that way, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm having a great time. A grand old time, Anderson. I I'm wish having you were here. a great time, Anderson. <laughs> Anderson, you look cute enough to be my girlfriend. <laughs> Where do you get your haircut? <laughs> Anderson, has anyone ever told you we look like identical twins? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn, dude, that guy just looks like even fatter Archie Bunker. <laughs> It looks that's like what all that's what all men look like until 1990. That's what Anderson or mm-hmm. Tucker Carlson wants to go back to. You hit 40, you look like, like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. men used to look like Santa. <laughs> what happened? You used to be able to sit on anyone's lap. And Where did Santa good? go? Democrats will tell you that the North Pole melted because of climate change, <laughs> which we all know is a fake homosexual conspiracy <laughs> cooked up by Jews and Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> That's a powerful alliance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> AOC took a break from scolding people about communism and wearing a mask to wipe her pussy in a public restroom. <laughs> Hidden GoPro captured AOC <laughs> wiping her pussy without a mask on. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch. <laughs> <laughs> Men aren't hot anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Thanks, sucker. <laughs> I used to look at any guy walking down the street, and my dick would get hard. Guys used to be hot. <laughs> we used to want to fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm really... You should fucking... We should be exec, executive producer and showrunner of I, Tucker Carlson. I would love that. That would be so good. Would be I wrong. would fucking love it. Because then it's like all the people that hate me would be like, see, I told you, yeah. he's spreading fascist propaganda. And then yeah. you watch the show and it's just like, <laughs> Garfield the Cat is a fag. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing... <laughs> Normal was a guy. Yeah. Gay much? Mm-hmm. Can you believe it? What is this place? Some kind of... Some kind of cave? Everything smells like shit in here. <laughs> You're inside of a man's ass. <laughs> this is the gay place. But I'm not gay! <laughs> oh, you are now. <laughs> Where's my wife? You're all gone, Richard. <laughs> it's just you now. You and every gay man. <laughs> well, it's not fair! I, I only sucked one dick, and it was in the Navy. I, I, I did what my country asked of me! There's no excuses in the gay place. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell, hell yes. Good That's ass true. riff. <laughs> good ass riff alert. Uh, hell yeah. You are entering the good ass riff zone. <laughs> Welcome to the zone, I'm, baby. I'm gay. What is this place? Uh, uh, my why, cock's why, getting why, hard. Why is everybody so racist in here? <laughs> It's the good Afro's riff zone. It's the good riff zone. Thing. Only good riffs are allowed in here. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know what riffing is. I'm... Uh, respect to the king. Yeah, what do we got? We, I, let's do the whole entire <coughs> Billy Joel oeuvre. Okay. Okay. What, what other songs? Uptown Girl? What yeah. about Italian Restaurant? Yeah. That's a fun song, but there's no Scenes real... Scenes from an Italian... There's, yeah. n- there's no real... Like, I don't care what you say anymore, I am gay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Go ahead with your own life. I'm sucking cock. <laughs> sucking on a dick, it's my life. <laughs> sucking on a dick, it's my life. Fuck, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was one song I really liked by him, but I can't remember what it was called. Yeah. Yeah. Well, think about it. It was a cool, it was a good one, too. Yeah. But what are you going to do? I think it's... Um, you know what? What's I'm, the matter with the dick I'm sucking? Can't you tell that it's way too small? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. 
Sounds uh, like uh, what about um, yeah, you, just because I'm a straight A loser doesn't mean my dick is small and so my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's mad because my dick is tiny. <laughs> so are my balls and my ass is really wide. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking dick, eating ass. You know, you Stuff know. my cheeks, fuck Stuff my me, ass. Yeah. I'm fucking gay. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Zero effort. <laughs> Just fucking crash the plane into the fucking terminal. <laughs> <laughs> Or what about a crash landing directly into the gate <laughs> and kill everyone waiting for the next flight, as well as everyone on board? <laughs> All right, I got one. Um, mm-hmm. He didn't suck my penis, mm-hmm. but I sucked his penis because I'm really gay. <laughs> that's not he bad. Didn't yeah. suck my yes. penis. Yes, yep. sir. Billy Joel. Thanks, dude. dude. That's yep. a, we've, got that's the, we've got the whole podcast down to a sign. <laughs> <laughs> down to a, a, a fixed system <laughs> of precision. Uh, you gotta you gotta find the YouTube clip slow. <laughs> you gotta find the YouTube clip where it says slow. He, like, but this. I don't think he ever actually says that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's just it's just it's an amalgam. Yeah, I see. Him, I've yeah. never seen most of these movies. Yeah, the, it's it's early on when he's explaining to Cole Trickle. Mm. Um, uh huh. My name is Dick Trickle. Uh, when he's like, you, are, you, you indie boys come in here and you're too, you too, uh, you know, you're too, you too hot, you right. hot boys, sexy, mm. you're, you're too, too hot. Well, he's you're from California. Yo, you California boys come in, yeah. come down here and you're too sexy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too hot. He drives, he, yeah, the, you see too yeah, much yeah, of your you know, penis through your pants. When we drove, when we watch you in the race car, we can't stop thinking about how sexy you are. It's not about driving the car. It's used, it used to be you trying to. Get people to want to have sex with the car. Not the driver. Not the driver. I'm over here thinking about putting your cock on my lips. I'm gay. Now nah, you're making me gay. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> gay for the car. You're I'm making me gay. a homo. You're making me down. <laughs> you're having sex with men slow. You want me to make... <laughs> 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 they want to have sex with guys slow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so fucking true. That's so true about Robert Duvall. I don't know. Money Penny, I was wondering if you wanted to get fucked in your ass <laughs> Oh, James. <laughs> Always the jokester, James. <laughs> I'd like oh, to sh- bend you over and sh- rip your pussy apart I with am, my cock. I am. I've got a quick question for you. Would you like to shuck my fucking dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay, there oh, he is. James. The, old, the old jokester oh, himself. James. James the jokester. <laughs> 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 Why don't you take a look up there? He's just jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Q, why don't you pull my finger real quick? Okay. But you didn't fart, 007. That's right. I came in my pants. I spent 15 minutes in the bathroom getting myself all the way to the edge while looking at the picture of your wife. And you just made me bust her in my mind. <laughs> Take that, you inventing faggot. <laughs> you inventions faggot. Well, I don't really appreciate that much at all, James. James. It's Britain. We're all faggots. <laughs> that's why we hired you. You're the only one that's straight. <laughs> <laughs> England needed a straight England man. Needed one straight man to protect to be... us from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> The whole premise of 007 is what if a British guy was straight? (laughs) (laughs) It's getting panned. The first movie got panned. It was deemed too unrealistic for a single British man to be heterosexual. Mm -hmm. Well, I just don't see it. I've never met a man like that who behaves that way. We all have sex with our wives while holding our noses. While fully clothed. And thinking about Jeffrey. Yeah. (laughs) Realism. Hmm. What kind of article? What kind of lead is this? Shouts out to Nick's best friend, Josh Brolin. Yeah, who did compliment me, by the way. A highlight of my career. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, Three years ago. Hey, you got a really beautiful body. (laughs) He said that? I don't remember him saying that. He said, I just want to put you in a little cage. (laughs) 
I'm going to shrink it down in 10 I inches. Re- I just remember you... Okay, why don't you come over to Hollywood? We got this device to shrink people shrink down in 10 inches. Just get in the machine. It's how we can... We got to take you to this island where you can do auditions, but we can't have you on the flight log because, you know, this is a big opportunity. We don't want people finding out who the next star is going to be before it's time. So we have to shrink you down to 10 inches, and then we'll put you in a little... Just a little, you know, dot kit. Whoa. And we'll sneak oh. you to the island. And is that then, what happened? And then you? we'll bring you back to normal mm-hmm. size. Oh, okay. Wait. And then that's where you can meet David Geffen, <laughs> Brian Singer, Garth Ancier, David Newman. Uh-huh. And, and, and Rick Moran is the inventor the, of the shrinking machine. The rest of the men we call right. star yeah. makers. Star, the star makers. Yes, and Rick Moran is inventor of the shrinking machine. <laughs> and I don't accept it. Mm-hmm. I was actually, we only arrived after the apartheid, so. That's, Mandela that's was in charge. not true. What do you mean? Your family was responsible for apartheid. <laughs> <laughs> you know that doesn't doesn't your family go way back in like the accounts for the slave traders? No, actually, no. Isn't that what Friedland means in South yeah. African? No, we were in uh, Eastern <laughs> Europe at that time, and <laughs> well, it's a, Lithuania being very cold Jews. I don't think so. We dude. were just standing around. I'm so cold. No, it, what happened was so his family. Cold. His family was asked to leave Europe because the Nazis were like, look, we don't need any more names. Thank you. You've already earned your freedom. (laughs) But you guys got to get out of here because it's going to look weird if you're the only family we don't kill. We have six million names. We don't need any more names. And then they went to South Africa. And they said, and there, there's a man that said, please have, share this coconut of peace with us. <laughs> and then they enslaved that guy and took his coconut. <laughs> you know the truth. The thing is that oh, no. it's fucking... Then his, his grandfather was like, it's so hot down here, I have to rape. <laughs> I have to invent raping. <laughs> it's too hot to not rape. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, God, it's, it's very funny. Isn't that right, Adam? True. Isn't everything yeah. Nick said yes, correct? Yes, it's completely one hundred percent. It's real. Yeah, it was just, we were all part of Rhodesian uh, death squads. Me and my family. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude! That's my favorite Committing podcast. Atrocities. That's my favorite podcast. The, the Rhodesian Gas Digital, <laughs> Gas Digital Network is Rhodesian <laughs> death squads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, my parents had to leave because they were anti-apartheid and they were on a list by the secret police. And we mm. went back after Mandela, uh, Mandela came to power. Yeah. For how long? Wait, you went? Uh, yeah, I lived there when I was a kid for three years. I didn't know that. For two years, sorry. Yeah. What I turned age? four, five, and six. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. And then I started school. <laughs> I went back to America and started school. Mm. So, but I was in pre-K there. But I had an oh, accent fuck. when I was a little kid. You didn't start kindergarten until you were six years old? I think, no, no I started first grade. I did kindergarten there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Damn, that's interesting. Yeah. Too bad it's all lies. <laughs> that would be a cool story. It's sort of a redeeming story if it wasn't a complete lie. Yeah, I don't know your family's a war criminal past. No, we were we were not. A couple of Jesse my Joyce's. Gran- my grandfather. <laughs> a couple of Howard Jesse Joyce's. My uh, grandfather probably um, did some shitty things. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't oh, know. That means he knows and he doesn't want to well, say. Well, no, he, he got super lucky and like made mo- whatever i don't want to tell Ooh, you. no tell the story money. made money uh-oh <laughs> he was probably a pretty my cool, dad says way. my dad thinks that he had uh office buildings and my dad suspects that his father rented office space <laughs> to the secret police <laughs> but that might be bullshit he was a <laughs> landlord for the shit. secret police <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god That dude. is unbelievable My grandfather would help the Nazis find deals <laughs> <laughs> He was like Groupon he was, for the, he was a yeah. broker <laughs> But then my dad my This d- one has a nice view of the Blicks <laughs> My dad ended up being on a, on a list Because they thought he was a Potential political enemy And then they tried to draft him into the army and my mom Doesn't make agent. up for it Double doesn't, agent huh? Doesn't matter Fuck yeah. my grandfather I don't give a fuck about there him There you go Yeah, yeah. My I mean, grandfather uh, just fucking bought a bunch of exotic birds. Yeah. He never did anything with his life. Yeah, well, it's a <laughs> shitty place. 
Hell yeah, dude. That's a fucking <laughs> hilarious way to live your life. Dude, just he collecting spent all birds. dude, no joke. He ruined an apartment. We were the way the way our fucking apartment building there's like we family had shit? a floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the bottom floor was um uh my aunt. Um the middle floor was my grandparents. The uh third floor was my uncles, and the fourth floor was supposed to be ours. And while we were in America, my dad would like go when we, I was really young, he would go mm-hmm. and like do put work into it. You know, he would like do the electric one summer. He would go back and put tiles and shit in it because my dad always thought we were going to move back to Greece. And then when there was like four years in between when it just like didn't look like we were moving back, you know, my grandfather just uh, my dad replaced all the tiles. My everyone got mad at my grandfather because he had like literally 300 birds on his balcony <laughs> and it was just squawking and there was shit everywhere so they told me he had to move them and he just put them indoors in our apartment shit everywhere dude That's absolutely he had disgusting. like four or five hundred fu- and just ruined the tiles just i mean i think ruining that apartment is pretty much as bad as anything my grandfather made <laughs> <laughs> he spent all his retirement my money. grandfather was tidy okay yeah, yeah i'll yeah, give yeah. him that i'll give him that um, I don't know if it's true. This is something well, that my dad it's suspects. True. That th- that means he did worse shit, and that's what your dad is telling you. No, he didn't do worse shit. No. I think if you if you Google war criminal Friedland, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> whatever comes up is the answer. Um, um, <clears throat> but yeah, shouts out to Stavros Halkius. Also, na- that was his name. Also, I'm yeah. named after him. <laughs> and uh, just, just he played the lottery. A, he also played the lottery. Buying a bunch of birds. That's Dude, hilarious. Not just birds, but the lottery every day. That's fine. A lot of people do that. That's cool. Not a lot of people fucking blow all their money on birds. Yeah, and he he wouldn't let my grandmother turn the lights on because he was that cheap. But he would buy them like expensive vitamins to make his birds coat <laughs> shiny. <laughs> <laughs> he was a total piece of dog shit. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're like, you're a collection of exotic birds. I would do something like that. That's a yeah. cool thing. Yeah, I know. I no. know you would. <clears throat> um, I've you told, have have Maca- I told do you have sto- Macaws? Uh, they, yeah. Anyway, we're th- what we're no, thankful for don't. is the return of Ian. Yeah, to the podcast, we're thankful everyone. for Ian. I'm thankful Ian's back. for you. Who, you guys mentioned who lifted when I was... his own ban that he placed on himself. Yeah. Well, you you guys uh, talked about my European tour. We and, plugged uh, it, and a bunch of people came out, and it was See really that? nice. I well, really want to thank you, friend, and we support you. And thank you. I think what we said out. was uh, a bunch of European people. People were like, oh, what is there is a gay clown that is coming <laughs> to do a show. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Ian brought his own slide whistle. <laughs> Unreal. Unbelievable. Jesus fucking Christ. Do Unreal. it again. Do it again. Do it again. I mean, I don't even know how to process Do that. it again, I can't Ian. even laugh. Yeah. I'm, it's this is crazy. The best. <laughs> Ian. Unbelievable. In anticipation that he'd call you a gay clown, too. It was just so fitting. He knew. He knew. The <laughs> timing was so just, spot on. Just right. <laughs> I am. This is, that's the best thing that's ever happened. All right. Dude. Goodbye. <laughs> I do. <Yeah. laughs> Ian's got to get to Sirius XM. Yeah, that's where I found this slide whistle. Really? Yeah. You, you, great you, you hear show. about this? There's a no, guy. Morning, we just got that just the sound of papers ruffling. There's yeah. a guy in Florida that tried to start his own zoo in the backyard. <laughs> Didn't have the permits for the monkeys, so he got a black person. Oh. <laughs> one of the local one of the local fellas down there. <laughs> I hope that's picking up. Aluga! Yeah, it picked up the first two times, but not the third. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's okay. I'll let you know if it picks up. Ian. Okay. What do you, you mean? Done? Watching them? Um, no, because, getting cut out of them? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. that, uh, well, didn't your... Do your commercial? Are you still with those um, people? Technically, yeah. I yeah. They probably won't renew my contract. Uh, but yeah, it's like the amount of money that I get c- compared to like how much bullshit I have to deal with from people that are like, oh, dude, come down. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just not worth it anymore. You know, like I, I got g- fucking taken out of that commercial just because of the name of the fucking. Oh yeah, podcast. he's like right. a spin. Just because of the name of the fucking podcast, yeah. and then like I have friends that get in shit all the time, and it's yeah. like they're just as offensive as I am. It's just just they're not, as they're not as like you know online. Outwardly, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. People, that, it's not that visible, and they don't have like this. And uh, and so I always wondered about that. It's like there's guys I, I look at. It's like. They just haven't dealt with the internet yet. Uh-huh. Right, you know, right, right, they right. haven't like faced that. No, me and Dasha have the same agent now. Oh, nice. So I can get inside <laughs> intel on how much they hate me from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, 
uh, uh, uh, fan base who shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> ruined a million dollar ad campaign way more than that e- easily three million dollars easily the ad itself costs yeah, easily yeah. for that sure much. for Hilarious. sure yeah yeah <laughs> that ad was expensive as shit out of control it's an incredible Big bird was in it yeah dude. yeah the licensing cost it's incredible the fucking the license a dolly parton song that's they, right. They, was, the they went to fucking. They shot they had, some of it in Hong Kong and like Berlin. That's so I mean, good. it's just like they had to suck Dolly Parton's titties for promotion. I mean, that's real power, Nick. I know you lost probably a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. on that, but that yeah. is real power. Is that what power is? is being that, able that's to not is power. it is Shut it power up, if being you suck rib in a hospital and you knock over somebody's no. dialysis <laughs> yeah, machine yeah. and kill them? <laughs> being able I guess to I, jeopardize I power really right now. IBM is like literally one of the most powerful companies in the world. Don't tell me to shut up. I'm complimenting. No, this is not a compliment. The motherfucker got a hundred k taken out of his fucking no, bank I'm, again. Listen, it's <laughs> it, it sucks. sucks. Dick. It clearly sucks. <laughs> but IBM it's not like, power. It sucks, dick. Also, IBM didn't really lose that much money. They just cut this fucking idiot out of the commercial. They yeah. still used it. But being able so to he got fucked. Jeopardize a three million dollar <laughs> ad. <laughs> for a moment. Okay, he made for IBM moment. for like one day. Be like, what the fuck are we gonna do? They're like, oh, we just cut this fucking moron out of the fucking head. <laughs> yeah. It's not that hard, actually. <laughs> this isn't really a crisis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't need him yeah. at all. Adam's in a commercial. Please don't ruin it the same way he ruined my commercial. I didn't wink, ruin wink, your commercial. Wink. Wink. Yeah. You kind of did post about it immediately, yeah. to be you fair. You posted first. No, you posted you, first. You posted you about it. everyone and immediately. And then you, no, no, you, no, no, no. you immediately brought you it up You opened the, the floodgates, so then I figured, why not? Yeah. Uh, which is fine. You just didn't think, you know. Also, but I should address, because in reading the subreddit, I see that people were claiming that I was bitching about something that was my own fault. I tried to manage exposure with that commercial as much as possible. I knew it would probably be a problem. But, for, you know, whatever. It's Things happen. I would rather have, like, the show than be a sure, fucking commercial sure. actor. And you can't double right. dip. Yeah. So it's like I'm not even... It's, things happen. But just point of fucking argument, they specifically mentioned the subreddit and asked me to delete it. <laughs> so it is absolutely your fault. The subreddit was 100% the problem. I have numerous yep. emails and I got calls about specifically... You were just giving them power. The Come Town yeah. subreddit. And it'll probably so be So that a... was the issue. It was not me or anything I've said on the podcast or even any tweets that I had. There was not a single tweet cited other than the ones that you posted on the subreddit <laughs> that they complained about. Yeah, so look out for the subreddit ruining my commercial acting career pretty soon. And, and you know what, boys? Go for it, right? What nah, do you mean? What are you talking go, about? Go Nick, shut the fuck we up. We are in this together. No, we're not we're in this together. No, we're not. We are no. a family, and the way families show love is by controlling and destroying every yeah. aspect of your life. We're not a it's family. It's a natural impulse. <laughs> no, if you listen to the show... I'm your father and really, your son. No. If you listen to the show, we really I've created you it. and you unto no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> To be fair, um, you brought up my commercial to get mine fucked up also. I didn't bring up your commercial. You I, did it immediately. You did it immediately. I did not. You internet. were tweeting about it. And, you texted and, me the second. I had no I idea text, what was happening. And then you started I the text show the and, link and to immediately stop. Had to, I texted the link to stop about when it. I found it. No, I did not post. You texted actually, it to a bunch you of people. Posted. No, you absolutely I posted. text the link and to you stop. And maybe, I think Will Menneker I texted the link to too. And he p- will post, post about, about it, it immediately. And as soon as we did the episode, you were immediately talking about it. And well, we were making and, fun and, of and you because you said, but the breakfast on TV. It was a funny thing that we thought would be Sure, was but all you brought funny. it up and specifically... Or not, but the breakfast. You, you, said more like, <laughs> you said more like 5 a.m. He had his yeah. more like 5 not, Yeah, yeah. That was your bring but the breakfast. Again. I don't even know why you had to bring that <laughs> <in>. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's the greatest tragedy. It's not that you lost that much money, is it? We lost more, more like five a.m. Yeah, you know what I mean. That I mean, it'll always awesome. be in yeah. our hearts. No, not yeah. really. It's not the same because it's sad now. Yeah, yeah, it is. Sad. It would have been awesome to mock him for saying it's that. so he funny. Was on the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was a Super Bowl ad, right? <laughs> yeah, it would have been. Are you kidding? Bowl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he lost. He <laughs> 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 Holy fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, and this I mean, is hilarious. The, yeah, the amount... Because, like, you know, Megan Gailey's in those nuts commercials now. Yeah, yeah. pistachios Somebody told you she made, like, a quarter million off <laughs> Did she? <laughs> Holy She made something shit. wild, for sure. Oh, man. I always see... What's his name? Grant... Uh, yes. He's Gordon. On, he's on Hello. He's on those Boost, Boost Mobile It's honestly like if yeah. I had a child and they got some sort of, like, you know, 
just horrible disease, like where they lived in pain and then died yeah. in six months. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that would feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Losing my my more like yeah, yeah. I, I remember you were you were, Nick was coming over that week like drinking. I get a knock on the door. <laughs> yeah, you were drinking. No, that was a tough week for sure. I get a knock on the door at like eight a.m. and I'd be like, "Who the fuck is here?" And it was like Nick is like, "Yo, you want to get coffee? What's up?" <laughs> so, so you've clearly been wandering the streets yeah, for four hours already. <laughs> well, most of the stress was like because my like agent, commercial agent, well agency. Yeah. yeah, they were like. They were fucking heated about it. Yeah, yeah. and maybe the, that that director probably got fucked. Like he knew oh, your people friends, knew whatever. Boss. Fuck them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck IBM. Yeah. Who cares? Why would he get? F oh, because he. Cast. And the casting director and and the director like for they not knew. doing their due. No, but they didn't do their due diligence. Did I content. tell you? I don't know if I ever said this on the podcast, but after that happened, uh -huh. uh, Ian goes to all these like. Um, Seminars, right? Yeah, he goes yeah, to yeah. these acting seminars at, like, <laughs> uh, at fucking like commercial agencies, and he was like, he was like, dude, I was at one, and uh, uh, <laughs> they were like, yeah, you want to make sure that you're not on social media if you're like a commercial actor, because like there was this guy they cast him in a commercial, the commercial aired, and they found out he's on some like podcast, some anti-Semitic podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Called cum rag or something. <laughs> Ian's dumbass couldn't put it together. Yeah, well, yeah. No, Ian, Ian goes. Ian goes like, wait, come down. They're like, yeah, you know that guy. And they're like, yeah. It's like yeah. apparently he had all these like bad tweets about the Jews, which I do. But let's not pretend that was no, the fucking. Yeah, that was a pro Jew tweet, actually. Well, you were calling out IBM for their participation in the Holocaust. Well, we don't need yeah. to go into. He's allowed to have commercials, but Nick and I aren't. That's so, that is actually hilarious. Yeah, you are better off being literally a rapist <laughs> than yeah. being a host of comedy. I told you, my fucking my agent said that to me on the phone when that when I when all that shit was happening. My agent called me up. They're like, "This will probably blow over." Just like yeah, basically. exactly. Yeah, and you sort of do like a goth businessman. Yeah, it's like a goth, like a like the uh, you know that uh, gif of the Joker burning all the money. Um, yes. Yeah. No, so I just that's know it, the basically. one of like Leo DiCaprio like throwing money off of a boat. Jeff. No, no, I've that's, never heard anybody. That's say, that's more of like a Wall Street bets right. kind of thing. Finn Goth is more Joker oriented. It's more mm -hmm. about chaos. Yeah, it's chaos. There's like a little bit of Stewie Griffin the in markets. there. Like a Stewie G Griffin Joker. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. So it's basically losing money on cryptocurrency. It's losing in money cryptocurrency, on cryptocurrency, which is doubly embarrassing. While listen you're listening to Bronski beat. Typo negative. Yeah, typo or, negative is big in the. The Finn Goth. In the Finn Goth. Okay, so you're really into like the masochism. Into um, like humiliating yourself. It sounds no, kind of I'm not really into anything. It's just I needed an ex a f like a funny way to feel okay about losing just massive amounts of money. So I, mm -hmm. I turned it into a short term sell. bit. They're not lost until you sell. The market yeah. could turn around. I mean, fortune could smile on you. Yeah. How much money have you lost? Thirty eight thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> cool. What do you got? The market, got? if I'm it hasn't found, if it hasn't found a bottom, it will soon. I think it did find the bottom. His name was Nick Mullen. No, <laughs> 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 you have to use my yeah, <laughs>